Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe. I'm Claire. This is Media Trudor, and welcome back to Kingdoms of Amala Re Reckoning. Or is this like. This is part three. So, mm -hmm. so, so Re 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 Reckoning. We'll add a Re every time. Because, okay. The, the original. This, this, this Re Reckoning was part one. Re Reckoning. So part two will be Re Re Reckoning. Mm. This is Re 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 Reckoning. Yeah, okay. So welcome to Kingdoms of Amala Re 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 Reckoning. <laughs> We're going we're gonna to do a bit of a short stream tonight. Just so you know, this is not going to be the longest stream in the world. Uh, I, I'm very tired. I did not sleep well last night. I'm not in the best of health. It's not COVID. Not dying. None of that, anyway. Uh, so it's, we're fine. Oh Everything's under control. Uh, but we're going to do, do a short stream because I'm very tired. So I'm kind of glad this works. This is a super chill game. This is a nice chill game. I was originally thinking of putting um, Star Wars Squadrons in. I thought, you know what? That's, that's a bit too high intensity. I can't deal with that today. We can we can't deal with that. So that's fine. Except we're just gonna have the super chill adventures of Captain John. So that's that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be great. Uh, just put that to there, and hopefully everything will be uh everything will be a okay. Just a, yeah. Hey John, do you remember how last time we played this? Uh, you uh. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. Okay. It's not gonna happen. It's not. Okay. It's, not it's not gonna happen. Uh, okay, okay. It's not gonna okay. happen. Okay. We've got we've got all oh, we got this this ten ten million things. 10 million things to do. We're just going to do some chill stuff. And I'm going to be good at magic. That's why this is the live stream of pure magic. We're going to get some magic done. But I do remember a fisherman had fallen in love with a nymph. So it's not going to be a nymph. He's going to have fallen in love with like a siren or something. Or a succubus. So we're going to go like, you know, seduce the succubus for ourselves. Because succubuses are like hot. So that's, you know, that's that's a good... Succubi. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure whether... Uh, only if it's Latin origin. People, people get that wrong. People say, oh, octopi, no. No, no, Greek yes, origin. Yes, I know octopodes. I'm aware. We're tech octopuses because no one ever uses the Greek plural forms that should they should do, mm -hmm. which is kind of sad. But what can you do, eh? Uh, so yes, we're gonna we're I gonna mean, go we're gonna go find succubi. We're gonna we're gonna find we're gonna find a succubus. We're gonna find a succubus and we're gonna seduce the succubus because that sounds pretty good. Uh, so uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where was the? Where am I right now? I'm just in the middle of nowhere killing killing some uh was just killing some trolls. I was oh yeah, I was just out in the um round the haxi. Uh some guy wanted me to get a thing. Apparently the fish is uh, yeah, they, they clear the pier. We'll head over in this direction and we'll sort that out. That's a nice that's a nice that's nicely to start us off. We'll get some we'll get some XP going on, we'll get some good magic going on, and uh, because we'll be going up against fish creatures, I've got electro magic that I've just like upgraded a bit. So all we need to do is like use electro magic because you know story checks out electricity super effective against Gyarados. So this is this is all going to be uh, this is all going to be absolutely a okay. It should be right over. It's really right over here, is it? it j j j jump, jump over the. It's not a, that. That's not an authorized. Oh, that is that's an authorized jumping down point. Can I use this? Um, can I use this jumping down point? Yes, you may only use the authorized jumping down points. Damn it. Here we go. I see you bastards over there. Hopefully, I remember how to play the game. Uh, it'll be it'll be great. For, oh, it's wolves. Oh, that's fine. Just charge up my mega arrow, and this but what is. But if it's your boyfriend from last time? Well, then he's dead, or he will be momentarily. So that that's a shame. And lightning! Yay! That did all of them. Right, go, go, go. If I can just get all of them, that'd be spectacular. So really, what I need to do is just get out of the way and excuse me. Oi! You can have some flippin' lightning, mate. Uh, oh, this is... Okay, excuse me. Just, I, I, I need all of you to just be in line. And go. Right, one of you's dead. And go. And another one of you's dead. Because, yeah, the arrow seems like uh, stagging them a bit. And... Nope, that's going to knock you back. Retreat. Bow. And then just fall back. Retreat. Job done. All right, so they, they ate a dead thing. So, she weren't here. We gotta go and like get something else. And I've got a ton of bit of health regen, which is nice. And I've also cleared a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, that was okay. This wolf had money on it, which does suggest it might have been, you know, the friend wolf, uh, which is, you know, a bit sad. Oops. Well, maybe it was just a, a wolf that was like loaded, like a trust fund wolf <laughs> with like rich wolf parents. Oh, that's that's dear. that's what's going on. That's what's going on here. I think we want to go up to the. Looks like we want to go up to the top. Let's head in that direction. That's all. It, it's fine. All right. It definitely it wasn't Wolf Friend. How's how's everyone in the chat? But oh, hello. All right. There's there's Net and Brute over there. Oh, we know how to deal with them. They're not really too much of a problem. You just got to get nice and close, and then just hit them with a thing, because they take loads of damage from uh, all the rest of it. Clap. 
How's the uh, world? Yeah, the world is, uh, I mean, you know, the world is as it uh, You do was. that joke every time. Yeah, well, you keep asking about it. Uh -huh. Like it's gonna have gotten better. No, no, Chad is fine. Uh, Chad oh, says, hang on. My lovely bride. I am all dressed and prepared for our wedding. Thank that, you, stranger. What you're wearing Bless is your you. wedding, mate? Now, if you don't mind, mm. I'm going to seal my bond with a ring and a kiss. Any last words for a crusty bachelor? Wait, I thought I was looking for... Yeah, what, what happened to the... What happened to the nymph, by the way? My nymph? She just fouled that disgusting etching with a glance. <laughs> Beauty kills even the beast, so they say. Did you not see her wiggle away to the cliff overlooking the lake? It's where we first met, you know. A grand spot for our union. Well, friend, if there's nothing else, I'm off. You're welcome to witness the event if you care to. I don't know what's going on with you, but I think you might be mad. Wait a moment. That's no nymph. That's not the graceful creature I fell in love with. You were good enough to go along with an old man's wishes. Uh, might I ask one more of you? I wanted to kill that beast. To preserve the memory of my bride. And I'll see you rewarded if you do. But... But... Wait, what? Who was... Did... Did you have a spell put on you or something? I'd rather not talk about it, stranger. My personal failings tend to make me upset. I think this man might have perception as bad as mine. He just thought that giant troll was a nymph and he fell in love with it. <laughs> and he also <laughs> felt he also felt that I just killed it. You've seen the chaos and destruction the thing has caused. It's a demon of the waters. Is it? Not only that, but uh, I to think I ever loved that thing. It's shameful. Please. It burns my old heart. I'll reward you for the work. I promise what, what, you that. What's even... Okay, yeah. fine. Sure. I'm not sure what you're actually talking about. But, like, I'll, I'll, go and, I'll go and kill it, whatever it is. Maybe he wasn't talking about that. What was he talking about? What is it? Oh, it's a... Th oh, hello. Oh, there is... There is it is. Oh, what is it? Is, is it a... Uh, it, it's a... Uh, it's whatever that is. It looks a bit nude. I'm not sure. What, can we have this on YouTube? All right, we need to use we need to use bows to keep it at a distance. I think it might be a bit. Excuse me. Just... Stop being so. Toss lightning at it. Right, whatever you are. Uh, I mean, okay, it's it's sexier than a troll. I'll give him that. That's certainly true. Oh blimey, heck, it got in the way there. Uh, okay, ah uh, blip. Okay, it seems very weak to electricity. So my Gyarados versus electricity plan is kind of actually working. And. Uh... Put a bit of this on it. Right, get it up front. Oh, yeah, it's definitely vulnerable to electricity. So I'm not a million miles off. Let's get a bit of poison on it. Let's take a look at poison damage. And it goes down. Nice and easy. Right, so it was... I mean, what was it? I mean, it, I mean, in his defense, it had boobs. Yeah, but also it had hair skillfully placed on the boobs so that you wouldn't see nipples. It's true. I mean, it, it did have too many legs. And they started at the knee. Which should have given him a clue that something weren't right here. Should have given him a clue. Like, hang on. Claire has two legs. And they, they separate at the hip. Which is broadly what I would have expected. I just wanted to double check. Um, I mean, you know, to be, to be clear, she, if, you, if, you, if you're just going to, like, cover up the... Well, okay, she's also got kind of... She's kind of got, like, claws instead of arms. So that's kind of badass. Like, if you had claws instead of arms, that'd be kind of badass. I mean, I can see how some people would be into it. I'm sure there's yeah, a yeah, fair, I'm sure fair. I'm sure there's a fan art of that on the internet that you can find. I've, I've no doubt mm, where things happen. Yeah, <laughs> very vague there, Claire. Very vague. Shouldn't else we can have? I'm sure there's a number for this rule, but um, uh -huh. the chat will tell me. Who knows, eh? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a bunch of stuff here from the other people she seduced. I don't know whether, like, I think that, she, that was her name rather than what she was. So I'm not sure whether she was a succubus. Uh, but may, may, maybe this stone will tell us. So brief his term among our court, so virile in his living. He is fervored embodied. He is vitality. He rescued Princess Luna to take as his own. King of Strand, Prince of Passion. Was, was she Princess Luna? I don't... Oh, there's a cool thing up here. Hello! Do you want to be friends? Can we, can we target it? It doesn't appear to be... It doesn't appear to be existing in the sense that it's targetable, but... Alright, there's just a cool little owl up there. 
That's nice. Right, we're going to nip back over to Watts' face and get ourselves a reward. Claire. All right. Chad says get well, John. No. I hope you feel better. Uh, let's see, let's I'm really see, tired see. today. We're right in the middle of essay producing season. Yes. It's not a good time for me to not be in tip top health. Uh, yeah, well. Uh, the, um, the chat would like you to remember to loot the corpses. I uh, looted at least one corpse. Reckoning mode. Yeah. It's not ready to go yet. Um, that you were interested in multi-classing last time? I know, that's why we're doing magic this time. Alright, alright. It's part, it's part just, of the plan. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just letting you know what chat is saying. Oh, scuttle crab. Oh, and random you. chest. Together with, oh, I don't think we need any of that. We can just sell it, it's fine. Uh, yeah, we definitely don't want, like, steel gauntlets or whatever, or shoes. It's not, it's not my thing. I don't even get up here, by the way. You've got very, got very defensible territory. I'm just trying to get bloody back to it after I want to get back in. Is there a ramp somewhere or something? Dear, I've been dear. Clap! Uh, yeah, shout out to the book 778. Uh, once again, first uh, first comment and super chat of the live stream and gave us uh, five pounds and says, Good evening. How are you all doing tonight? And boop. Well, Tabby's, so Tabby's doing really boop. well. Tabby's doing well. Because she's, she's had, like, a, a little MOT at the vest, and she's done fine, and she's on, like, different foods, and she's doing very nicely. Uh, I'm I'm not great. Claire's fine, I'm sure. We don't need to bother asking Claire. I'm sure she's okay. Where's, where's all this Oh, is he in here? Is this his house? Oh. This is a tiny... I wonder if this... Oh, this is this is quite the TARDIS house. This house was bloody tiny on the outside. Mm -hmm. uh, can we can we help us out some of his stuff? No, but he's, he, lives, he lives down in his... He lives down in his in his big old basement. Right, I've I've slain the the creature. And by the way, I'm gonna be. You must finish it. I'm, I'm guessing you're not talking about smashing your boxes, but I'm gonna assume you are. Hi, I've I've killed the 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 whatever succubus. That, that's the end of that then. I'm sorry for roping you into such a task, stranger. It's just you see enough sadness in your life, and you see chances for happiness wherever you look. Now for your reward. Take my wedding ring. Based on Imelda's memory long enough. Seems fair I give up what hasn't been taken. Ah, excellent. So he's given me a wedding ring. That's nice. It ain't much. Just a small charm that she had when we were wed. When fever took her, I mounted it on her grave. <laughs> and one of those two-headed bastards pried it off. Carried it to the lake. Giggling like a pair of fools. Wouldn't dare follow the beasts there. But... You, ah, well, you've helped me enough. Oh, bloody hell, he wants even more stuff. Thank you. You're a kind soul indeed. Well, to be honest, I'm just relying on you giving me stuff, so it's fine. Uh, okay, so just another etting somewhere around here. That's fine. We'll just, just give me a location. We'll go take care of that. But he has given me his wedding ring. I'm going to feel really bad when I just, you know, mark it as junk and then immediately sell it at uh, the nearest store. But, like, 90% that's, that's what's about to happen. So that's that's kind of sad, to be honest. Uh, ooh, it's a nice chest here. That's all very, very nice indeed. None of that's really that good, though. Uh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Accessories, uh, rings. Uh, so, his ring. Okay. So, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything, but it looks valuable. Junk it is! Yay! <laughs> Thank you for giving me your dead wife's wedding ring. It is now officially junk and I'm going to flog it at the nearest pawn shop. Yay! This is precisely what his wife would have wanted, I'm sure. Right, let's go hunt down another thing. So there might be some more good uh, stuff belonging to his dead relatives that has a sob story behind it that we can flog for gold. Clap! Uh, yeah, <laughs> shout out to uh, Tianan who uh, gave us uh, 2,500 Icelandic Corona uh, and says Lemieux. It says what? Lemieux. I think it's a French cat. French cat. Okay, yeah, I, I see. Yeah, I think it's a French cat. I see. Uh, but yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe it's supposed to be Tabby, second generation French cat, you know? Picked up a bit of French off you. Very oh, blimey, heck, there was the thing. Oh, God, there were many things here. I've actually... Oh, such a chill game. Fudge, fudge. Claire, there, was, there were many etted brutes. They're cocking respawned. It's not fair. Screw the lot of you. Screw, screw off. Screw off. Go. Oh, bloody hell. There's... Ow, dick. 
<laughs> yep, no, you don't. Bye. I'm just, I'm just here for a charm. I'm not even here to. I don't even want to fight. It's just, it's fine. I think this is the one I want. I think you're the one who. I'm shooting at the wrong one. Okay, I've accidentally, I've accidentally got him some friends. I need to. Okay, everybody just piss off for a second. Let's see if we could just lose them a little bit for a moment. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Tianan confirms in chat it is in fact a French cat. It is a spot on Terry. Uh, let's see. Um, somebody else, uh, someone with the username somebody else gave us uh, 20 pounds uh, and says, I can't stay for long as I've got to get to my dance class. I just wanted to say, love you guys, love this game, and look after yourselves. Have some muns and a boop. Oh, I enjoy muns and a boop. Boop. Claire does. I only know it, when when boops are requested. Claire does actually do booping. This is a thing that actually happens. Soft booping. Just FYI, it's very gentle booping. It's not yes, mean booping. But like you know, booping it's is there. Always gentle and adorable. Apparently, I've got this thing called reckoning mode. I don't know what that is, but all right, fine. Uh, but yes, so there you go. Uh, somebody else. I hope we caught you before you had to leave for your dance class. Uh, and let's see. Uh, <laughs> Mm, Tianan also gave us another 750 uh, Icelandic krona and says a wolf may have uh, eaten a traveling merchant. That's, that's, yeah, we'll yeah. go with that. That's what we'll say. Mm -hmm. We're going to say that's what, that's 100% what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just absolutely just, just ate a traveling merchant and nothing else. That's, that's, yes, that's what we're going to say was the thing. 100%. Uh, hang on, I need to clear out some inventory stuff. Exactly. You pick up weapons. Very fast. Right, I've got I've got fine steel ones. That's eighteen. <laughs> oh, these are just the same, but they're trash, so we can get rid of that. We can sixteen to nine. Oh, that, that can definitely go. Then they can definitely go. I picked up frostbite, a great sword. I don't use great swords to be honest, so that can go. And this thing is. I mean, I won't deny it. It's, it's, it's quite fun and it's clap. It's quite a big hammer. Hello there. It's, it's quite a large. Ah oh, yes. It's quite a dumbly large hammer. I love it. Have you? But we're, Claire, we're not. We're not hammer specialists. I don't care. It's beautiful. It's really quite strong, actually. And you just need to go and find <laughs> someone. We're gonna go find someone to hit with it. Because I feel like even though we're not specting this, it's actually doing like quite high amounts of damage. So I need to get. Let's just get someone's attention. So you just come over here. Excuse me, come over here, please. Thank you. He's taking loads of poison damage over time, which is great. Just knock you bastards down. Knock you bastards. Also, just random wolf here as well. Yes, random wolf. Uh, random wolf. Random wolf. Random wolf. Angry. But excuse me, come, come back here. It's really. Uh, it's so. It's Claire. It's so slow. It's the dumbest slow weapon. Oh, what the cock was? What? Okay, it's the problem is if if I actually can hit anything with it. It's basically a one-hit kill. Um, but I can't hit anything with it. That's that's your problem, man. No, and go. Go. I'm not convinced. It it, it did a lot of damage you to- You could become a hammer specialist if you wanted, the chat points out. I feel like this isn't Aww. the weapon for us. Uh, shout out to Dragon uh, Trapper who gave us $10 and says, Giant Hammer bonus, use a hammer! Uh, <laughs> and let's see, uh, Niche Icon gave us fifty dollars. Uh, thank you so so much. Thank uh, you very sweet. very much indeed. Uh, and let's see, uh, Niche Icon says I missed a bunch of live streams, so here is my I missed you guys money. Uh, thank you very very much indeed. Lanka points out that you can reset the skills to become a hammer specialist. Do it! Do it! Do it! Technically, I'm literally outside the Fate Weaver convention. I'm out. I'm outside. It's a sign. I'm outside Fate Con right now. Come on! That's actually true. Okay, we'll try being. We'll try being a hammer specialist. Yes. We'll get. We'll just have some. As as the game is literally all about. Claire, we called this was supposed to be the live stream of magic, Claire. But imagine how cool it would be if you could do both magic and like. Giant hammers. Hammer. What is it with you and giant hammers? I should be concerned. Oh, hang on. Cool, John. They're inherently cool. Stay close. Oh, I thought this was supposed to be. Oh, apparently. 
the, the way you sold this place to me was, oh yeah, you're just going to come in here and there's going to be a magic theatre and it's going to be great. But now he's like, oh, actually, no, sorry. It's actually this completely unsafe dungeon. No, this is amazing. Sam in the chat points out that with lightning uh, from magic and a hammer, you could become Thor. That's true. Okay, I need, oh, on, I need to go and find an actual fa Fate Weaver. Because this guy is just a dumb fake Fate Weaver. And he just wants me to do a dungeon with him. So I need to find an actual Fate And I know there's... Where did we run into one last time? Was there one at the um, the oratory place that we were at? That was just like literally round over here at the oratory. The chat is with me. I think... Yeah, you know, I think there was one here. Uh, so we're going to go there. I'm gonna nip inside there, and if there was one there, well, you know, we'll, we'll just try to. Yes, you can just spend money to respect. <laughs> we'll give it a go. Oh my god, Jessica! Uh, Jessica in chat uh, um, feels the same as I do, uh, and puts it very well. Hammers are totally magic. They magically solve your problems when you hit the problems with them. That's that's story checks out. I've misremembered. There was literally nothing in here. Uh, where was the John? Don't king shame Claire. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Shout out to uh, shout out to Puncher Joe who uh, gave us fifty dollars. Thank you so much. Well, thank you very very much indeed. Uh, Joe says, uh, so I've never said this before, but MATN helped me navigate through the birth of my son, and wow. that is definitely worth fifty bucks. Excellent. Well, I I, I I I hope it wasn't through like you know following practical advice. <laughs> In any way, it strikes me as a terrible idea. But I hope it was just in the sense of emotional support. That, yeah, that, that... and I mean, that's amazing that we could have done that because we don't have experience with that. And yeah. it seems like such a huge thing. Uh, so, congrats right. on your baby, too. Congrats. Okay, I've brought you your wife more of your wife's stuff. Would, can I just have it to flog? Oh. You found it after all. But in all the sake, I'm glad you didn't leave it with that monster. But I have a few coins left to my name, and you can take them. And the bed's free for your use whenever you care for it. Uh, okay, you just gave me 800 gold for it. I mean, that's probably more than I could have got in a shop, so... I mean, that's fine. I mean, if he wants the... If he wants the, the necklace, why doesn't he want the ring? I feel like he'd, he'd, he gave away his wedding ring, but wanted to get his wedding brooch back. Which feels... Odd to me, but all right, fine, whatever. Uh, apparently, I've picked up something. Oh yeah, I just picked up those steel greaves. They're definitely junk. We definitely don't want that. We did pick up Sir Shrewd. Ah, this lovely talisman, which is pretty good, uh, but I need I need sorcery for that. Okay, I need to. There must have been a fate weaver back at the Hall of Ballads, though, right? Uh, water hall down. Was that way? Was that where the ballads were? Ballads or is ballads? No, there's the House of Ballads, which is called the House... You can tell because it's got a House of Ballads written on it. I think they had a ballad. They had a ballad, a Fate Weaver over there. I know I saw an Elf Fate Weaver somewhere. So there's got to be one somewhere. So we'll, we'll see about that. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, it was we'll two episodes ago, so we'll, you know. We'll give a little warning. Yes. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to Ali who gave us five pounds uh, and has a super chat uh, that has uh, spoilers oh, for a thing that happened in Crusader King three two episodes ago. Yes. So, you know, uh, proceed with caution if you haven't seen anything. it yet. Uh, and Ali says, in Valdemar's memory, I checked his history as your raid leader. He bought you 11 prisoners. Uh, he brought you 11 prisoners, 76 gold ransom, and th uh, uh, and 1,362 gold loot. May he oh, rest God, in peace. Amazing. That's, that's a lot of loot. Raid in peace, Valdemar. He's, he's, I mean, uh, Val, I think Valdemar and Ilva, I think, will, you know, when the time is right, I think they'll get together in the afterlife. I no I do you know what I think they're bros. Mm -hmm. I love I love the fact that they're uh, bros. They okay. go to they go to the pub and dinner and beer together. Okay. They're bros. Yeah. Oh, yeah. this resets everything. It actually resets all these points too. Ah, okay. Uh, so right, we know detect hidden is like the best thing ever. So and also secret mini doors, split up mini map and split. Ah, yes, yeah, secret doors. We want secret doors. So we're going straight up to secret doors. Right, and. Uh, well, I have like, uh, I do like a bit of persuasion. 
So I'm going to go... Yeah, you know what? We're just going to go entirely up to Persuasion and Detect uh, Hidden. Because that's been pretty good. So we'll confirm that. Then, okay. So, uh, Brute... Okay, apparently your hammers belong to the weapon class Brutal. Yes! <laughs> the Brutal class uh, of weapon is apparently what they belong to. So, uh, that will give me... A Brutal Mage. Wouldn't you love <clears throat> being a Brutal Mage? And if you're using hammers, that leads to Minotaur Rush. So a hold and release to rush down enemies. 27 points available right now. And that's, uh, okay, you know what? We'll take a little bit of that. We'll boost, boost that up. So, uh, Comet Strike, blah, 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 blah. Yes, all special attacks. Something, something, something. something. Uh, okay, so uh, gain special attacks, apply damage over time. Okay, that's fine. That's Longsword Mastery. That's, ah, there is also specifically a Hammer Mastery. Which is the nice. hammer thing. Uh, so that just makes hammers a little bit better. So, and does that do anything other than just making them a bit stronger? Doesn't look like it. Meanwhile, over here we have got Harpoon. So I can pull enemies over to me for a tiny cost of uh, magic. Uh, alternatively, uh, skillful defense. So block mitigation. So you're better at defending. But if I'm holding a hammer, I feel like blocking's not really my thing. Uh, meanwhile, if I go up to Brutal Weaponry 2, I can go up to Spinebender. Attack with the hammer while blocking to perform a devastating uh, kick, hook, and smash. Okay, so five points in Might Ability. Let me just put a bit more. There we go. So we got some of that right there. So we can have some of that right now. And then does that just beget, uh, applies damage over time? Yeah, we'll have a bit more damage over time. Then that leads into, oh, that is, like, that is 35. So we're not going to be able to get that anytime soon. Concussive force damage versus stunned enemies. We do have uh, this. Quake. So, smash the ground damaging enemies in an area. Uh, cast spell rapidly chain up to three attacks. So, it doesn't do much damage, to be honest. I'll um, unlock it, but I'm not convinced it's the best thing. Right, so people in ch um, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, uh, Harpoon is getting some love in chat, so I don't know. Uh, we'll have it if other people. I'll put it. I'll, um, I'll have it. I'll, I'll, I'll turn it on level one at least, so we can have Luke's yeah. at it. And uh, um, ooh, the uh, the Takava says in chat, I typically go Harpoon, Daggers, Magic Shield. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Malachi says Spinebender sounds like a terrifying spin-off of Avatar: The Last Airbender. <laughs> Uh, which is very, very nice. We finished uh, season one of that, by the we way. Have. Now we're watching season one of The Mandalorian, and then we'll go back for season two. Yeah, we're finally, on to, we're finally on to The Mandalorian. Oh my god, baby, you're so cute. So cute. This is my hot take. Yeah, it's a good it's hot a, take. It's a very original hot take. Mm -hmm. Then we got Mark Flamo, so we got some stuff over there. I mean, if I, they can still mix in a bit of finesse. So, like, I quite like... I still like having some bow stuff. So, I might put the rest of just getting my bow back to where it should be. Because I like having my bow. Uh, my bow's pretty good. And then I need five points there. And that gets me... That gets me my Envenom Dead. Which I quite like. And that's... Yeah, that's... Oh, that's edged weapons. Okay, so my hammer isn't affected by that. Which is a bit of a shame because I like that. Uh, but I will just get my bows basically maxed out. Well, I think that's why, um, that's why the Takava said they do daggers as well as, uh, yeah. Harpoon. Yeah, but we'll give, we'll give the hammer a go, as you were apparently on Team Hammer. We'll, yes! We'll, we'll give it a go, at least, so precise weaponry and then dagger <laughs> mastery and whatnot. Uh, and oh. then we'll also just put the last two into electricity. So we'll confirm that, okay. and then I am allowed a uh, Fateless Brawler or Fighter, so melee attack damage and block efficiency. Okay, so I need to get into the habit of blocking a bit more. Uh, do I actually have a, uh, a Duelist? So that is, ah, Might and Finesse. So ranged, aha! A Duelist, a Might and Ranged Blend. Tier 2, we will go for that. So, okay, now we've got a bit of different stuff going on, and also I can put on, like, different... Uh, Bits and pieces. Do I have enough to, like, put on all my old armor? I don't need to... Oh! The game generates a tattered tattered gear for you if you have nothing that you're allowed to wear anymore. Which is quite good. Uh, oh, dear. People in the chat are annoyed that we finished uh, season one of Avatar without uh, live tweeting. Or that you finish it without live tweeting every single episode. Or at least giving your thoughts on every episode. Sorry, we'll do an update at some point. I need yeah. to... Okay, so yeah, 101 physical damage and experience bonus and stun duration. 
and I've still got a really good, um, really good thing. So, okay, I'm now ready to actually hit things properly with a giant hammer, uh, as I understand it. Now, I also need to, I need to check how my abilities work. So, my moves. So, upheavals, that's, that's longsword. My comet strike is, and that's, that's longsword again. Uh, ah, hammers, down over here. Okay, minotaur rush. So, just hold my attack, and then rush in with a great big thing. And if I'm blocking, then I perform an attack, which is kick, hook, smash. Uh, okay, and I don't have my uh, my perfect parry ability yet. So, okay. Basically, I just do a great big rush. So, just do that. And then, and then, yay! It's very short range. Or block, and then into kick, etc. Okay, now I know where we're going. That's all fine. So, we can go back to do... Uh, we can go back and kick some creatures' asses. Now, I've got ludicrous, ludicrous hammer of this succubus. So, with my suck hammer, I can now do some serious damage. Thanks for that. Yeah, no uh, problem. Speaking of... Speaking of suck hammers... Oh, yeah. I like, like where this is going. Shout out to uh, Fisto, who gave us $2. <laughs> and says, Fisto has noticed everyone enjoys being hammered. <laughs> True, you know. Uh, Fisto also gave us another two dollars and says Fisto joins chat in encouraging use of the poon. Yeah. So there you go, harpoon. So all the way around, everybody's very happy about that. Wait, how do I have? Um, oh, it's okay. So I've got my which ability is which? That's my that's my harpoon. Okay, so that is on. It's got a cooldown. So that that's my harpoon, and I've also got my yeah. I've got a, I've got my little slam ability. Right there, hang on, just double check, that's the moves, abilities, over to might, hang on, just so I understand exactly what I'm looking at here, so that is, yes, that's my quake, so uh, all damage in, all damage in the area, so okay, that's, that's, that's that, so all my abilities have changed, okay, you just get used to my, my new abilities here, everything's fine, right, now we can go back and like, you know, uh, fight my way through to the magic fate weaver theatre or whatever, uh, we'll do what that guy wants, because in all fairness, we've been kind of, we've been putting him off for a while, and it feels like it's kind of might be a bit, you know, important. So, we should go and do that. And probably the bloody bastards have respawned around here. And I can actually put on better weaponry as well. I can actually put on, like, proper steel stuff now. I knew you'd be here! Right, so, okay, we just killed that wolf in, like, two and a half seconds. The hammer did, the hammer did a good job there, I won't deny. So, we'll see how, uh, we'll see how the hammer gets on with all of this nonsense. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. More, uh, more hammer comments. Excellent. Uh, Ovidiu, uh, gave us two pounds and wants to know, John, are you worthy? Well, uh, it's, it's a big hammer and I seem to be carrying it all right so this far. This has been abandoned mm -hmm. for so long that some and, fate we've uh, seen, it's just a legend. He's probably just going to be muttering in the background, it's fine. We won't pay too much attention to, uh, too much attention to you, my friend. Right, uh... We got to Oh, it's just these bastards again. That's that's all absolutely fine. There's a bunch of aha. There's a bunch of wolves all together. Right. Let's get. Let's draw your attention first before we go over to. No, seriously, just, just just no, not the. Okay, fine. We'll just draw the um their attention. Right. Yeah. There we go. And go out, Dick. Uh, oh, we've got a friend now. This is all fine. Can we even attack? Oh, blimey. Okay, this is... The problem is these weapons are very slow. They're really, really slow. And... Pop, go. 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 I am not enjoy being on stairs. That doesn't help me in the slightest. G lightning. That wasn't the lightning spell. That was... <laughs> All my spells have moved. Go. Never mind. I'm so slow. But I'm very powerful once I get going. Uh, it, 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 die. Okay, well, you're, you're taking care of that over there. Right, okay, everything's... This is going to take some getting used to. It's, it's, I'm really, it's really slow right now. Ow! Yeah, I'm very slow. Uh, just do a quick potion. Oh, my, oh, my potions are alright. I feel like I've got my... I don't have my poison anymore. Oh, no! Oh, this is, this is, this is a problem. And zip! That's doing some good stuff over there. Go. Go. I quite like the ludicrous... I mean, I, I, I won't deny. I like the ludicrous damage. As is being done. That the fact that you could kill those guys. No, I, I don't. I didn't even want to. Oh, you. I could have fate woven with him at any point. I didn't need to go there. He would. He does fate weaving on the fly. Apparently, it's a very. It's just a thing you can just do when you're going around. It's fine. 
so that's that. That's a thing. Uh, so okay, everything's under control. There's plenty of stuff as needs to be. Uh, plenty of stuff as needs to be done here. Right. I see, there's enemies in that direction, so we probably want to explore this way first. In that case, yeah. I'm, I mean, I appreciate the damage. I don't like the fact that it takes ten million years to swing your weapon. That's that's a bit of an issue for me. I won't deny that's an issue. We'll see if I get used to it. We'll give it a go. Because I just say the whole the, the joy of this game. So thank you, uh, Claire, for like inspiring this. Is, you know, that you can just respec whenever you really want to. Which is nice. And no, you don't. No, you don't. And oh, you're a shaman, aren't you? Yes, you are. And boop. That does that does naff all. That does so little. That's not even worth thinking about. No, ow! So slow. Yeah, I sh I'm not convinced by this really slow weapon class. To be honest, that's that's the problem with it. It's so slow. And yeah, it also doesn't stun large enemies. Yeah, you're not really the tanky type of player. No, I, li I like I like dodging in and out, and mm. like it's it does a lot of damage. But I feel like you lose like the you're getting a lot of damage per swing. But you're also losing out in a way because you DPS because you're getting less swings per second. Mm. So, like, you, you, there, there are ways in which you're losing too, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, that's that's the sad thing. And ooh, a bloodstone. I don't know what a bloodstone is, but it was purple. Generally, that's a very good sign. Now, did you just say secret door to me? Is this is this is there a secret? Is that what I'm seeing right now? Is this because this, I'm, I'm my, my rumble pack's going wobbly whoop. This way. No, no, not this way. Piss off. There's there's something. I mean, I I just took a thing saying, hey, secret doors will be visible. I'm seeing what looks like a door here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The rumble pack's doing its rumble. What are you wanting me to chat? I'm feeling like this is I'm looking at a secret door right now, but it ain't doing anything. What am I supposed to do to open up the secret door? I'm gonna keep it on chat for a second. Claire! Uh yes indeed. Shout out to uh Tianan again. He gave us uh five uh seven thousand 750 Icelandic krona. I'm sorry, if it's got more than two numbers, I really don't <laughs> to, like, figure out how to say it in English. Um, it's one of the things I still have to think about if it's got too many numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, Tiana says, uh, Succuba says, are the best. They are. It is definitely Succubi, though. Yeah. Like, Google and the chat has confirmed, and also I already knew that. Mm -hmm. uh, so... <laughs> Uh, oh, that's see. the way out. Okay, that's the Skyrim door. Um, that's the Skyrim door from the other side. Fine. Mm. I just got excited because I just took the see secret doors in dungeons ability, and there was like a door that was making the rumble pack go rumble. <laughs> so I kind of, I kind of no, assumed. Oh, why was it going rumble? Normally, rumble pack means this is a secret. Congrats on being so awesome. But this time it wasn't. I feel sad. Yeah, I think what we need to do is like, and let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at the ability. So, like, what in might could I take out? Because like, this is just brutal weaponry, so I can't boost the power of like daggers or whatever. This is greatsword mastery. But if you invest a little bit into this, then you can get up to yeah, all of the various abilities that these guys have uh, that these guys have got. So. Uh, okay, one percent chance of stunning your attacker every time you uh, get hit. With a melee, so that's not the most exciting thing in the world, and that's quite far in. Concussive force, so bonus damage versus stun is. I'm just kind of curious whether I want to kind of mix in any of these abilities, though some of them are so far down you wouldn't really want to. Because I could just take Quake, but like I feel like I'm not feeling Quake's doing much damage, to be honest. I feel like there's better things I can do with my mana than do that versus Aftershock, so just Quake does even more damage, so and that's really far down. Uh, meanwhile, we've got Adrenaline Surge, so when health falls low, then chance of restoring health. And then meanwhile, then we got Power Strike. So, uh, okay, while Adrenaline Surge is... Okay, you just get better in terms of your Adrenaline Surge. Uh, that is Relentless Assault, so short-term resistance to the expense of armor. So, takes any more damage. Okay, versus Vengeance. And then we've got over here... Yeah, you can just take a little bit of skillful defense, so damage mitigation while blocking to make your shielding better. But I feel like I'm, 
I mean, we could take a bit of that. I'm, I'm looking at these abilities and I'm not thinking, yes, these are abilities I definitely want to carry over to my character going forward. Now, I need to check the harpoon, how I feel about the harpoon, like what the range of the harpoon is. It looks like it goes up as I invest in it. So, but then again, if, I've got, if I'm a really powerful at bows, do I need harpoon? I feel like that doesn't really suit me. So, okay, can we, can we harpoon you? No, but it drew a lot of attention. Right, okay, so to tang. So slow. So, so it's it's very powerful, but you just, you get interrupted too much. You get, and you take a lot of damage well, as a result. you get hammer blocked, you mean? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Go. Okay, and just go, and then get away, and then go. You see, I, I got I, I got hit rather than getting a hit in there. And it's, I feel like you, you, because you have to, you get one swing, you have to time it so carefully. You're getting so, you're getting really few shots in. You're actually getting very, very few shots in, which is imper- I, I'm not feeling the hammer. I'm so sorry, but I'm not feeling the hammer. Like, I like the damage it's doing, but I feel like with the daggers, I prefer the perma stagger of the daggers. Though I don't think there's anything I can take out of the might tree that, like, um, causes that to, uh... Yeah, causes um, the daggers to pick up more stun. Because I think the stun is tied to the weapon, nothing else. And I don't have a companion all the time, so I can't do that like, uh, can't do that all the time. Fine elm longbow, probably not that good, to be honest. Ooh, uh, Alex in chat says two handed weapons work very well with lunge for, uh, from finesse, teleporting behind an enemy and smash him in the back, for example. Uh, but they also say they like great swords better. Interesting. So that's cool. Yeah, but if I'm going to go for might, I want to go for the biggest might. Ah, Nathaniel wants to know Pretty for having important. a Last of Us bow moment. Shh. Uh, but I think... No, I, I, like, I, it's, I, like, I like how much damage it's doing, but it doesn't... I, I don't think it really suits the way I like mm. to play it. I, I like my characters to like be able to attack fast. I prefer, I prefer low damage, high DPS, unless the <laughs> armor system prohibits it. Sorry, Sir Roderick. Uh, Sir Roderick Quincy von Thunderbottom, the Magnificent Hiking of Australia, uh, says if you want to feel the hammer, stand on the other hand of it while it's swinging. Oh, yeah, we need to do this as well, don't we? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, so yeah, there's, don't forget I've got that block, that block combo. So block into the kick, which is... That's, okay, yeah, I think, like, yeah, it's that I've been used to diving around with the yeah. dodge, whereas the hammer you need to be, you're just blocking with a good shield, so you can yeah. get the counterattacks, and mm. I think it's what's going uh, on. A couple of other people are agreeing with Alex that the greatsword is better and has some great moves. Um, uh, uh, Ariel says, uh, sorry, uh, Ariel Macaroon says uh when you're not in range uh you were not in range to the harpoon it has two effects yeah so uh yeah yeah and it looked mm -hmm. like when you upgrade it the mm -hmm. the range goes up uh which is fine we'll get we'll, we'll, we'll keep using the hammer for the rest of this dungeon but oh blimey that's a shiny thing should, should, should we be concerned by the oh no i can just can open that us the whole tapestry of fate laid bare we can do nothing to change it or prevent its horrors. Well, most of us can. Is is this the theater? Is is because it looks like an aquarium to me. But all right. Uh, well, there's 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 stuff here, and there's oh, there's a bunch. Okay, there's a crowd. Oh, there's stuff. Okay, this is fine. Everything's under control. Just hit them with a great big bump. Did I just hit myself with that? Because I think I, that does not do the damage I want it to do. Ow. Okay, this is... Go! And... Oi! Stop being a deck. Go! 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 And then block! Go! Go! Oh, the kick, the kick is really short range. Do another quick block here. And then... Go! And then kick! Oh, the, the kick is so short range, actually. And then... Yeah. And Eric then, says for uh, using the hammer, you need to let the enemy attack first, dodge, block, and then counter attack. Yeah, and the I don't I, I don't like the the quake. It's it's too short range. Next to the the bow spray, which is quite long range, uh, which is that. So your future's running out. That's fine then. Kick into that, but then 
Yeah, I'm. I'm. Your, I mean, you I'm said not, it was one hit kill, but it's, it's not. not really. It's not really. It's it's that. Well, I think it, I don't know if we got lucky. Just got a ridiculous crit or something mm. with that one hit at the beginning that gave me a false impression for quite how powerful it is. But I think it's 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 interesting. It's yeah, interesting Paul stuff. in chat. Paul uh, says I'm uh, also not convinced by the hammer. I always favor speed and cunning over Hulk, Hulk smash, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, which makes sense, you know, and that's more what you tend to do. I just got excited about Hulk smashing because well, I like we're Hulk gonna, We're going to give Hulk smashing a go. Mm. We're going to mm. give it a go and we're going to see how it does. And hello, mm. who are you bastards? Just a random guy over there. Now, don't draw its attention. I'm about to hit it with my bow. Because, yeah, I can do like 100 damage with just with my archers. Oh, there's a lot of them. Whereas my, my, my fairly upgraded hammer doesn't do much. Oh, blimey. Heck, there's something. Excuse me. Yeah, the, the kick is kind of hilariously short range, uh, which I'm not I'm not keen on. Go away. Uh, seriously, nap off. Yeah. Okay, I see that. Yeah. And it's not even... The range of the hammer is less than I expect it to be, to be honest. Like, I'd expect it to have, like, good reach because it's a hammer. But it, it kind of feels like actually the range is not spectacular. Uh, oh, no. Fudgy go. Okay, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go over to my friend. We're gonna, have, we're gonna, we're gonna fight together. And then, excuse me, go away. Right, we're, just, we're gonna stick together. Everything's gonna be fine. And go. Yeah, that does not do anything. That's that's a garbage ability. It's, but maybe it's better when it's upgraded. But it just feels like it doesn't do anywhere near what I need it to do. And my, yeah, I just feel like my bow's doing like, even though it's not as upgraded as the hammer, it's doing more damage than the hammer, which should be like the ultimate of. How did you throw that into where I was about to jump? You absolute dick. Go away. Naff off. And then go. And then. Seriously. I'm not convinced by this kick. This kick is 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 not. It's not doing it's not doing the job. I think we need to go. I think we need to reconsider yeah, our uh, options the chat here. Is making fun of you for thinking that kicks should be longer range. How long do you think legs are, John? Well, I don't know. I'm wearing some tight leather pants. They look pretty long to me. Anyway, <laughs> shout out to uh, shout out to Nathaniel who gave us uh, five dollars and uh, says, "You know, my mechanics bill was lower than expected, so you can have some yo-yo uh, support money." Yay! Everyone's looking forward to Fallout 4 yo-yo. I was wondering why it was humming, After but it just didn't know the lyrics. <laughs> It's good to see some action again. Oh dear. Uh, there you go. Time. And then, uh, da, 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 da. Darth King of Dead at Bobo gave us a hundred Danish krona uh, and says, I vote for Brian the Intellect Dev Devourer as a mascot if you continue the Boulder Gates 3 series. That's going to be continued as a live stream. I really enjoyed that. Yes. I had so much fun with that. Yeah, somebody else asked actually, um, actually about. Baldur's Gate 3 live streams. Well, I would have put it up tonight, but like, I think it's kind of unfair to put something like as a live stream option, like the day after it comes out. Because I put out a lot of videos and I put them out, you know, they're quite long. Yeah. Uh, so I kind of feel like, you know, I, I like to give people time to watch the videos before they become live stream options. I think oh, that's you mean, like, fair. Yeah. Yeah. Well, also just, you know, from an entirely shallow POV, it would just not look nice if the two thumbnails were next to each other. Yeah. Well, you could you could make a different thumbnail, Claire. Yeah, I mean, I could do that. But I'm editing the audio of the essay, so... You yeah. are. That's true. <laughs> okay, I'll say... You, the third, I will say, like, because the it goes one, two, and then, like, a big crunch, the third one is really strong. That's yeah. where the power is. But, like, getting the third one off is quite tricky. Like, that's really good. But, like, I, I would like a... Like, ow! It's it, like it's just tricky to do because there's so many enemies around. So one, yeah. you kind of have to like vaguely line it up, like and start swinging like miles ahead of when you actually want to swing. Like you know, if they've got a projectile, he just basically he just blocked that yeah. completely. Uh, yeah, and then uh, go go. Uh, yeah, it's 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 too slow for me. It's just a bit too slow. Uh, Quake is not for damage, as only the last hit of the three-hit combo does good damage. The Quake spell only becomes OP when you unlock its final form, uh, when you can uh, mash it after the third wave, it turns into a mass area or of effect. 
uh, for as long as you have mana and you don't get interrupted. Yeah. It, I mean, it seems like it's pretty good. I think I prefer Same being works. able to cast poison with every hit and then and then match that with a fast DPS weapon so you can just basically guarantee yeah. they're always being poisoned. I really enjoyed rush, rushing poison up to rank 6. That, that worked for me. I enjoyed that. Like, I do enjoy how much damage the third swing of this combo does, but it just takes so long to do a three-hit combo. I feel like it's quite difficult, like, especially if there's more than one enemy. If there's one enemy, you block, you do the kick. That stuns them. One, two, three. Straight into that. That's fine. I'm cool with that. But I, I, it's just a bit too slow. It's a bit too slow. So we're going to finish this dungeon with the hammer. And I admit, now, I, no, now we're getting into, okay, you need to, it needs to be the third to the thing. You need to use, you need to get into habits of block. You need to do the kick. I'm getting into that a little bit more. I'm, I'm yeah. learning how that fits together. It's definitely, like, I mean, one thing I really admire about this game is there's, like, ten, there's clearly, like, there's so many different ways you can play it. And they're all kind of fun. They're yeah. all really good fun. Uh, which I really admire, the fact that it's so open to you playing however you want. And you can just mix and match different skills from different classes. But, like, I feel like I, I want to go back to something a bit faster. Mm. But, like, we might I might keep some of these abilities. We'll have to see. Uh, yeah, and let's see. Um, oh, you know, uh, Darth King Dead at Bobo, whose uh, comment I just read about, Brian the Intellect Devourer. Yeah. Uh, just wanted to let you know, I um, messaged you in chat. I'm not sure if you've seen it, but they sent the same message twice. I think they weren't sure if it had, like, gone through or whatever. So if you want to give me another message, uh, obviously, since you donated twice, that you lit, have yeah, two messages. Legit, legit. So uh, please uh, at reply me in chat, and we can uh, make sure that you get another comment. So there you go. Next up. Ooh, interesting. Uh, Gary gave us five pounds. Uh, wants to know if you've ever played Billion Road on the Switch? No. I, think it would make... I don't know what that is, actually. Yeah. So I think it would make a fun video if you play it with Claire. Love to you all, but mostly to Tabby. Fair. Which is fair. That's how that works. Uh, let's see. Billion Road. Let me look it up. I mean, right there. Yeah. Like, if you can get them stuck in a corner... You can do some really, you can get like, you know, you can get ridiculous damage really mm. fast. But the problem is, like, it, right now I've got a companion with me, mm. which makes it a bit easier to, like, you know, do that sort of thing. When you don't have a companion, it's a lot trickier. And also, this might be. Apparently, we're almost at the theater. Is is this the theater? Are we gonna go? Are we gonna go theater right now? The game's saying come and stand right here. Oh, I think it's a. Uh, port of a board game or ah, uh, I've not heard of the board game. Close. No, yeah, I think it's um uh da, 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 da. yeah, you apparently uh, travel through Japan and try to make uh, more money than anyone else. We're so there you go. Or at least uh, as far as I can that's, take you. That sounds fun. I mean, we've got uh I think I've played a couple of games that had that type of premise, but that weren't this particular one. Yes. So. There you it go. does sound like a board gamey present premise. Yeah. yeah. I come. I think I saw someone backing. There was a a game the other day that reminded me a bit of this the moment. Power Grid. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, my Ooh. friend. Hello. This is as far as I can take you. Sorry. When you say as far as you, are you just pissing off? Because you don't. Oh, good. He is bothering to get involved. Good. Uh, so that's fine. So he's going to help me out with this nonsense. But I feel like I'm not going to. I feel like I'm not going to be able to block. No, I thought I might not be able to block against that. Fair, legit, fair. Okay, use the corners to my advantage. Uh, I just need him to pay attention somewhere else. Get a bit of damage in his back. Okay, so he's not facing me right now. Bang! Go, go, go! That does a little bit of damage at least. Back off. And he's taking, yeah, he's taking some good damage here. He's taking some good, uh, he's taking some good damage. Okay, can I actually hook a massive... Oh no, if they're too big, then at that point I get hooked over to them. But like, if I like arching... Or like whatever the bow to, to to be a bowman is. I feel like yeah, I don't necessarily want uh, enemies close to me. I want them far away. Like so, I feel like that's that's not what I want. Electro bolt and dodge. No, you don't. I'm get. I'm at least I'm I'm better at the timings for dodging now. Oh, apparently we need to do a special a special kill animation and I didn't go into fate mode there. But apparently we need to do a thing anyway. I stabbed him in the deck. With, yeah, a ghost, I know. I with a ghost, with a ghost, with a ghost sword. I feel sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, friend. Still alive. We've got some essence. I don't. I still don't know what essence of fate does. He was supposed to. What? Do you have any idea what you've done? What sort of power you're playing with? What was he supposed to do? What did I do? Did I, did I break fate? You absorbed everything he was, everything he would do. You changed the weave of destiny itself. 
Because of you, there are deeds he won't do. Children of his that won't be born. Victims that won't die when they were supposed to. Well, you should have told me that before I killed him! Like, you didn't flag any of this! You didn't mention the cocky butterfly effect! Maybe you shouldn't have brought me into a- Wait, what about all the previous people we killed? What about them? Do they not matter? Like, they had fates. Like, do they not have fates? Is there- is fate only for the big people? Do little people not have fate? He just, I think he's been classist in terms of fate. Yeah. Okay, well, he, he tried to kill us. I mean, I'm not too worried if an Etin war priest doesn't have, like, you know, an extra kid. And when you say, like, I absorbed everything he's going to be, does that mean I can, like, do all the things he's supposed to? Like, how literally are we talking here? Like, can I fix fate by, like, I don't know, crafting a suit out of his skin and going home and having sex with his wife and then making sure that children that are supposed to be born are stillborn, they're just mine now? Is this allowed? How flexible is fate? Will it, like, fix itself? Like, if I just make myself my own grandfather, can I sort this out? Right now? No. You probably saved both our lives. But there's no way to tell what larger changes you've made in the fate of everyone around you. You are much more dangerous than I thought. We need to get you to the Theatre of Fate right away. Okay, um, previously, by the way, I've been going around doing a lot of sub-questing, so I've been changing a lot of fate without really thinking about it. I'm very sorry. I didn't realise I was ruining the universe, but I may have done. There's, um, there's a fisherman who hasn't been eaten by a succubus, so he might have enjoyed that, to be honest. Um, there's, th there's a lot. Um, oh, did I mention I'm, I'm now one of the House of Ballads? Because I am. I'm not supposed to be, but I am. Uh, there's, there's a lot. Actually, I've, I've, okay, I've really broken fate. Really sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, so Bob Space in chat confirms a sense, essence of fate uh, is for top tier potions if you put points into alchemy. Yeah, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, you missed that he clearly said he was supposed to die here. Mm -hmm. uh, Agal oh, this guy. just realized what's going on because that war priest was fated to kill him. Oh, shit. Sorry, Ag I can... Okay, well, hang on. I mean, just, I don't know if Agarth, sure just hold still. Him, but... I can fix this. I can fix it. Just just chill out. Agarth, just... I'm tr I'm a Agarth, why are you... No, he's immortal now. Mm. No, he's indestructible. He can't die. Uh, let's see. Re the weapons. So Rona says the big slow moving weapons also syner synergize a bit better with a heavy armor build. Uh, there is a might skill. There is a might skill that makes you immune to knockback and stuff, so you can chain attacks. So that sounds cool. And um, Adelaide wants to know since it's spooky month, do uh, we have any favorite Halloween monsters or costumes? Uh, not so much costumes, to be honest. I don't really do dressing up. You, I think you're more into Halloween than me. Yes, because I'm into dressing up in general. You're just, well, you're into fun in general, too. <laughs> and candy. I'm into candy and dressing up. Yeah, I'm not into fun. I don't enjoy <laughs> fun. That's only for Claire. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Um... Ow. I made that. I made that zombie makeup a couple of years ago. That wasn't a costume. Yeah. But that was makeup. That was gross. It was really good. Yeah. It's gross was what it was. Yeah, that's the point. I was dead. Uh, let's see. Oh, is Agarth dead? Wait, where's Agarth? Well, okay. Well, it's okay. I, I think I fixed fate. Um. No, that's that's a kobold. And. A did, did Agarth die? I don't... I don't see Agarth. I don't see his corpse, but I don't see him either. Did, did he just walk on without me? Uh... Hmm. Agarth! I might have fixed fate by accident, by virtue of just letting him die. It's possible anyway. <laughs> oh no, he's here, he's fine. Hey, Agarth. Sorry, I, I broke, I broke fate. fate. I never thought I'd see it. Yeah, literally, because you knew you were going to die just before you went into it. So, you know, fair. Um, right, so this is this is the theatre of fate. It's a cave to me, but all right. I mean, the acoustics in it must be terrible. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of water everywhere. It's, yeah, it's, you know, you try and watch Antigone in here. It's like, what? I can't hear what Oedipus just said. There's a waterfall. Terrible theatre. 
Uh, right, let's let's keep on keeping on. Oh, hello! Right, well, it's, also, it's got a bit of an infestation problem. Uh, ow! Stop me! I hate these guys. I hate them. They're dicks. Because, like, when you're, like, being crowded by a large number of enemies who have also got fast projectiles they can just toss at you, that's, like, the one thing you don't want to be when you're a slow-moving heavy weapon specialist. So that, that doesn't work for me at all. Two and three. There we go. That's good at least. One, two, three! I think the rain to splash on the final attack might be pretty good. So that's good. And then you are paying attention to someone else. So if you've got a companion with you, then off you pop. One, two. Who just hit me? Don't know who that was. One, two, three. Lovely. Yeah, I'm getting through health potions pretty fast just because you take a lot of damage. Because uh, I think I need better armor in a perfect world. I think yeah. After this mission is done, I think we're gonna we're gonna do a respec. Now we've now I've enjoyed that. Maybe next time we'll do a bit of magic. I might I might spec into a bit of magic. We might go a bit more like I think we'll go a little bit back into finesse, but more magic than I had before. Yeah. So I think yeah, like the the shadow the shadow dart thing I could probably do without that. I think that's not so great. So I think we can do without that. So that's a bunch of extra points I can go I can put into magic. That's pretty over there by the way. There's a bunch of like little houses or something built into the thing. Is this is this the theater? By the way, we made it. We made it to the theater. We might have just made it to the theater. No, we're, ju we're just we're just onto a different thing. We've never fully understood the power of this place. Seems there's a lot we don't understand. Uh, apparently not. Like me, the chosen one. Hooray for me! Oh, that looks important. And guards, I should have brought another bottle. Right. Also, there's a thing down over there. There's, there's, there's glowy things. Well, in all fairness, like, if you die, that's good. So how about you go first? Just in case this goes tits up. Because it kind of feels like you dying would sort of fix the universe. Ah, oh, I don't like this. They're charging me really fast. Uh, and I, I, like, the fast enemies are the precise thing I don't want. Ow! Dick. No! Okay. Go. 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 Oh, blimey. Okay, well, that worked pretty nicely. Uh, so yeah, one on one, I can see how the hammer's pretty bloody good. Because all you need to, because if you can just get one on one, then all you need to do is start just uh, hammering them, and that just staggers them. And this thing's got good stun on it, and then it just they just die so fast. So that that's good. I can see the positive thing about that. And yeah, sorry about killing those guys. I probably was supposed to not do that by fate either. My mistake. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna learn what's going on. I'm supposed to be putting my hands on the destiny stone. Which wait, why would you? Why would you bring me to the Destiny Stone? We've established I don't have a destiny. This is like the dumbest place for me. Like, Johnny's going to say, well, I don't know. Like, you know, error 404. Fate <laughs> not found. Because I'm li- Why would you bring the Fateless One to the room that tells fate? This is the- I'm the one person that it's useless to bring here. Useless bastard. Right, let's see what the Fate Stone has to say about a person who's got no fate. In terms of the Destiny Stone. Probably going to explode. Yep. Yeah. Hello. I received the Codex of Destiny. I feel like I'm, the, I'm the like Destiny literally the most qualified person to have that, but okay. And all around you, the tapestry of fate, unweaving itself. Yeah, broke fate. And there, at the core, was the Codex of Destiny. The wisdom that the Fey used to help the first fate weavers understand the nature of the weave. Don't you see what this means? Honestly, no. Not at all. But uh, yeah, I broke your fate rock. Ha! A small price to pay for the Codex of Destiny. If we can find a way to read that, it might help us understand something about you. But for now, just understand this. You're changing the fate of everyone you meet. That could make you more powerful than anything that's walked this world. Sweet. Okay, so yeah, I'm unstoppable. No. You can still die or fail, but fate doesn't enforce the weave on you. Your gift is freedom to you and to those around you, and that means I owe you a... Wait, what's that? Uh-oh, boss. Woo, hello. The abomination. Ooh, I'm an abomination. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, it's her. It's Sexy McGiblets. I like Sexy McGee. Right, I think we might have to do a little bit of... Uh, Murder, but like, uh, yeah, Triller's back, which is good. Uh, so that that's nice. And no, no, ah, uh, oh, that's some good stuff. They kind of they did just kind of they let me get a bit of a oh, they many of them have bows. Go and go and go. Yeah, if you just get that hit in, 
If you can just get the... Stop, stop messing around with the Rock of Destiny. If you can just get into the right place, then actually it's... Uh, I can see the advantage of the hammer. I'm enjoying that if you could just get that in the right spot. It just, it's got very good, seems to have very good knockdown. So, two, and... Because, uh, yeah, like, if you can just keep them staggered, it does dumb amounts of damage. Uh, and one, and two, and bow to you. Oh, yeah, we got this. Hey, Trella, you're going to be my new emo girlfriend. By the way, um, this this is the girl that possibly killed your friend. I'll just take her. I'll take that, by the way. Trust me. I'm much more interested in your friend here. Oh, she's got a good sexy husky voice too. You gotta love a good. Oh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm just interested in your friend. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Step, step on my chest. Uh, in heels. Uh, right. Hi, hi, Trella. Uh, or Alan, Alan Shea. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could deal with this. Me and you. Me and you can be best leather friends. I'm beginning to think that these Tuatha don't like you. Now, why do you think that might be? After all. Someone who can change the fate of the world, who wouldn't want you? I don't know, people who are doing pretty well with the existing fate, they know what fate is and they're pretty happy with it. Uh, yeah, how did you find me, by the way? Have you just been following me the old time, Batman? I'm not sure, but they're very well informed about your location. They came straight here from Diden Hill, but they're not nearly as interesting as you. Especially now that they're dead. Now it's my turn. Why are you here? Uh, I broke the fate rock. Sorry. Ha. Huh. Knowing the future is for fools. Who reads the end of a book before it's time? Save your attention for the present. Like that codex you found? Our scholars thought those were all gone from the world. But you're just full of surprises. Good luck understanding it. That's fey knowledge. They don't even have a written language. The stone is simply embedded with what they know. Unseeable to mortals. Yeah, but I'm a member of the House of Ballads, so I can just get one of them to read it. It's absolutely fine. Though, are you going to tell me to do that by any chance? Normally, I'd suggest looking in Issa, but the Fae are not fond of unexpected guests. But don't look so sad. There's still hope. When you're ready, meet me at the House of Ballads. Oh, sweet! I'm one step ahead of the game here! Oh, amazing! Right, screw you, Agarth. I no longer care about you. I've got our hot leather emo girlfriend, and yep, we're gonna go hang out at the House of Ballads and whatever. So, you could just stay here and, like, contemplate existence. For which, by the way, you are welcome. We can't trust her. Never met a Darkulfar who'd give me a straight answer, even with a sword at their throat. But she wasn't wrong about that codex. Just be careful doing anything she suggests. You're Meanwhile, just jealous she's sexier than you. That are tracking you. We need to do something about them. And, uh, yeah, how do we just find them and, like, murder them and whatever? She said they came through Diden Hill, didn't she? They don't belong in these lands, so they probably left a trail wide as an Eden's backside. Meet me there, and we'll track them down. Maybe we can find out why they're after you. Or at least how they can find you so easily. I've got some final rites to perform before I leave this place. Good luck. Okay. Also, yeah, we need to we need to do I've a little bit of fate weaving. I no, leave here again. no, I want to. I've got a lot of prayers. Okay. Now he's not willing to fate weave anymore. Well, that's just not bloody helpful. Okay. Well, I know where there is a fate weaver, so we can just go and have a chat to her, and that's fine. We'll be having all of that too, by the way. Lovely. Right. Well, we just, yeah. And then we just need to go out this way, apparently. Yeah, follow her. Go find my girlfriend. And actually, she wanted me to go to House of Balance, which is exactly where I need to go anyway to get my fate rewoven. So we never think about what the right thing to do is. So, all right. Well, we're heading in that direction. Clap. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Alex, who gave us 10 Canadian dollars. Best dollars. Uh, and says, hello, John and Claire. I will have to catch the live stream later. I'm off to sleep. But I was watching the Rome Total War stream from a couple of years ago. Does John remember the Bridge of Steve? Oh, the Bridge of Steve. That bit, Rome Total War's got some great moments in it. Just some great moments. It's 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 one of my favourite games of all time. In fact, you're lucky. You probably should be getting it tonight because it's my general go-to when I'm sick game. So you kind of it, you, it's it's poor luck I didn't decide to uh, jump straight over to it uh, straight over to it tonight because I wasn't yeah, feeling that's so what hot. You Featured it on the channel in exactly. the first place. Exactly. Correct. 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 Uh, yes, indeed. And Alex also said I laughed so hard at that. <laughs> so very, very good. That's not uh, to be taken uh, lightly in these times. Damn straight. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, a few more questions. Yes. Uh, Sean gave us five dollars and says, "Hey, John and Claire uh, from Louisiana. Ooh, hello from <laughs> Louisiana, Louisiana. Louisiana. I can't I think. pronounce things. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, John, I recently found Star Trek Bridge." Cu- Bridge crew with Nerd Cube and yeah. Matt. Oh, that was New great fun. Video. That was great fun. There's so much. Uh, this wolf keeps regenerating. Piss off. Nice. Dear oh, uh, dear. Let's Bloody see. wolf. Sean wants to know Claire and John favorite Halloween movie. Thank you. Oh, that's tricky. Ginger Snaps is good. Ginger Snaps Ooh, is a really. That one. It's uh, a kind of lesbian coming of age werewolf film. You'd, okay. you'd, you'd enjoy it, I think. Yeah, we should watch it. It's quite bloody, though. That's fine. Uh huh. That's fine by me. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes. Obviously. Uh, let's see. It's, it's weird. It's the 7th of October and I've not listened to Nightmare Before Christmas yet this Psh, year. Lol. I shall have to remedy that tonight. Uh, let's see. Kim. Uh, Kim gave us five euros and says, I've been watching since Fallout 3. YOLO. And I've watched so far, uh, I've watched anything uh, upload on the channel so far. Nice. That's a very good commitment. That's 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 3,000 odd videos or something. It's a lot. Uh, Kim says, keep up the good work and keep up your health. John, you are amazing. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, that's very, very sweet. Uh, right, let's go fate weave again. All right. I think I think it was over here. It was this woman on the right in this room, right? The the Cardi oh, McGibbons. Yeah, I assume it should be gets more expensive, but I've got loads of money, so that's really not a problem. Uh, so yeah, it was you. It is an honor uh, to see you again. So, yep, there you go. Fate weave again. Actually, it's barely more expensive, to be honest. So, okay, that's really cheap to... Really cheap to do. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I'm by my destiny. Uh, say you love me again. Uh, so okay, cool. Uh, so I'm I've done, I've done that, haven't I? Again. Yep. Have we, have we done that? Level up and uh, no, no. Just, uh, yeah. No, 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 no. I, I need you to, I need you to do, do the thing. Again. Fate weave. I'm by my destiny and resetting. Yes. Oh, oh sorry. I clicked click, no. Are we done? Ah, okay. So now it starts getting more expensive. Maybe the first one's just on the cheap. Now we're better with... Yes, now we're better with. Good, 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 good. So I'm happy with uh, Detect Hidden, up to five. Uh, I'm happy with Persuade uh, being at uh, four. I've got a spare point I could put into... Uh... I might want to do a bit of blacksmithing at some point. I might want to do a bit of blacksmithing. So I'm fine with that. And then, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I like my bow. My bow is really good. I enjoy my bow. So I'm having a bit of bow. I enjoy my dang master in Fade Blade Mastering. But you've got to have Ah, you've got to have five two. So I can just I can just skip Dagger Mastery and just take Fade Blade Mastery instead. Uh so that's zero of six. So precise weaponry, Shadow Strike. Shadow Strike's not great, to be honest. In fact, can I just could I just skip that? So just, ah, charge weapon attack and then twist a claw. I could just skip that, you know. If I just kind of, yeah, take that up to five, which I want to do anyway. That means I can just skip Shadow Strike. This means I could go over to, yeah, these are just special abilities. So, uh, Talon Strike. But if I didn't care about the special abilities and I just wanted the straight up damage, then I can take, yeah, I can take Draw Power up straight away. I can take Envenom Dead straight up to max, because I like that. That's fine. Uh... There's also lunge over here. So lunge past your foes to attack them from behind. I'm not sure it actually does that useful stuff, to be honest. And then blade honing. So, okay. So crits uh, for... Okay, for anything. So anything there over there. So that's up to 35. Uh, 10% critical. Okay, so that's pretty good. Enjoy that. We definitely be wanting uh, that. Uh, so yeah, I can just straight up take, uh, Fey Blade Mastery. So I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take all six ranks of that, straight away. Just enjoy the Fey Blades, that's okay. And that's up to, yeah, that's 35. So, uh, I've already put some good stuff there. May as well just max that out. I'm gonna, yeah, I've still got another 12 points available. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna max, I'll take this out, yeah, then I've got this. And I can now, I've now invested enough that I could get Lunge, I could get Icy Explosion, if I want that or I could get inoculation but I feel like that's not particularly great to be honest though 
Poison clouds when poison enemy. That's pretty good. So I look forward to that one. I quite enjoy Arrow Storm. It's only got three levels. It's actually only got three levels to it. But as I've only got nine points left at this point, and I feel like I've got some good stuff going on here. That's only got two more levels. Let's, let's move over to sorcery here. Let's move over to sorcery. So what have we actually got here? So, yeah, I could give myself Sphere of Protection. Could give myself Mark of the Flame. So tag up to three targets when executed. Uh, Mark of Flame, uh, big pile of burning damage. That's kind of fun. People, what do you think? What, what spells are fun? Chat, sell me on some spells in sorcery for me to uh, look to. Particularly the uh, the cheap ones as a starting point. Yeah, chat hasn't given opinions on spells because chat is busy talking about Halloween movies. Of course, of course. Uh, obviously, yep. we summoned a bit Beetlejuice, that is true. Yeah, story uh, checks out. Let's see. No, Christmas movies don't count as Halloween movies. Oh, of course not. No. No, 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 of course not. Uh, don't be silly. Lanka says Mark of Flame is amazing. People like Mark of Flame, do they? Mm. But I don't... I, mean, no, but I know... I know Shakram's rule, but they're not a spell, are they? Yeah, they're a weapon type, which mm. you don't really want to use. So they want to do the daggers. So I want to make, I want to mix with that. Uh, so mark of flame with stagger. Is it? Does that what? Is that what it leads into naturally? Uh, so yeah, burning. Razor light says that mana shield reserved skill would help you. Uh, mana shield reserve spell. Is that sphere of protection? Is mm -hmm. that what that one is? Uh, damage resistance while active, sustained. Ah, it's one of those, uh, you just lose a portion of your mana bar, but you get yourself, uh, yeah, bonus protection. I assume that is more and more and more. That's kind of interesting, actually. Yes, I like the sound of that. Uh, do you want a healing spell or a defense spell? I can't deny a healing spell sounds good, but I, I think, I can see healing surge here, but I need 20 points for that, so I'm not going to be able to afford that. Yeah. Not uh, just yet. Lanka says Mark of Flame is uh, an area of effect stagger with good damage. Yeah. Uh, certainly other people are agreeing with that. Serona says uh, maxing out the default lightning skill yeah. may go well with bows because it's a ranged stun when maxed. Well, because I don't want um, a Scepter, Staff, or Arcane, I have no choice if I want anything in Sorcery but to put five points into the lightning. I've got to do that because otherwise I can't unlock anything else. Mm. Uh, so that's that's essential. That gives me four more points available to uh, conservative casting uh, if I want to summon Boris Johnson. So not that one. Uh, Mark of the Flame. So uh, yeah, tagging your targets uh, with Mark. I don't know who Mark is, but I'm sure he's helpful. Um, and Sphere of Protection. So I wouldn't mind. Uh, you know, I wouldn't mind doing that. I wouldn't mind actually rather than like casting on the regular, mm. committing my mana to protection and poison. I wouldn't um, mind that at all. That's kind of interesting. Interesting. Uh, Bob, uh, Bob Space in chat points out when multi-classing, it is better to start off trying to level up the skills individually in order to be able to gain the bonuses. And yeah. if you don't care about them, then fair no, game. No, that makes sense. Uh, let's see. And then the um, Razor Light points out the Mana Shield is a good skill for John to tank groups of nasty goblins. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's called Sphere of Protection. Yeah, Sphere of Protection. Yeah. Though I'm kind of disappointed that the first rank is 5% and then the second rank is only an extra 1%. <laughs> so that kind of feels... <laughs> I'm guessing that, so yeah, and it's only got, how many ranks has it got? Mm. It's got six ranks, so that makes it sound like it's only going to go up to like, I don't know, 10, 15%, like if you max it out, which doesn't seem like the most sensible thing in the world. So, uh, we my Mark of Flame, that gets like a 30% boost, and also uh, more to burning damage. So we're going to get, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to invest a little bit in Mark of Flame. I'm going to take Mark of Flame up to level three. I'm going to take Sphere of Protection at one. And I've still mm. got I've still got my Envenom. And other than that, everything else is just in huge amounts of damage to uh, bows and Fae Blades. And also my Envenom. Because I really like Envenom. I like that poison chance. I really like that one. But I've I've okay. I've dropped Shadow Flare. Because I think Shadow Flare just doesn't do that much damage, to be honest. Um. I mean, it's not bad for, for staggering. That's okay. But I feel like it's it's not worth the points it takes to invest. So uh. we've got a bit more sorcery. 
Yeah, and Serona in chat says conservative casting will help if you stack up Sphere and Poison so that when you do cast, you can do it with less of the bar, but each point in Sorcery gives more mana. Ah, I see. Mm. And I'm going to take Disciple 2, which is the Finesse Sorcery mid-class. I get bonus elemental damage, that's my electricity, but I still get piercing damage for my bow. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that, and once again, I've just, I've just generated rags. You just get free rags, which is which is very welcome. Uh, and I think we're going to go over to it's it's time to go back over to daggers. I'm definitely feeling the uh, the daggers here. So uh, the charge of fade blades is actually that does bonus line damage, which I assume is boosted by by the things I've already got, right? Because I, I'm boosting. Then that's eighteen. Then that's whereas that's health and also plus physical damage. 10% chance to stun. Actually, they're, they're, all, they're almost broken anyway. Uh, but we definitely don't want... Okay, we can add you to junk. We'll keep you, because you're, bo you're both fine. Uh, this elm longbow, we'll look at that in a second. Uh, I think all of the all of these hammers, yeah, most of these hammers are basic hammers. They can go. Uh, bolt, bolter sledge. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go. It, it, the hammers are not for me. So we're going to get rid of the heavy weaponry. All right, we're going to keep those fey blades. Uh, uh, that is... Ice damage. I guess we'll keep ice damage. I don't need chakrams. I'll keep... I don't need scepters either. Because I, I can do plenty of lightning damage uh, as I am. Which is fine. So that's fine. In fact, you know what? We definitely need to go to a shop. Uh, because we're almost out of everything. This is... Uh, that is actually more base damage. That fine elm longbow. But it's uh, also, unfortunately... It doesn't have the, the lightning damage, which I really like. So we're going to get rid of that. Uh, which is fine. So that's secondary. Then I just need to basically reset my armor. And I picked up this war helm, but uh, it's it's. I'm not going to be going that much into might. I'm definitely feeling like I want to go a bit more into sorcery. That's fair. Uh, and I also picked up that. That's a might. That's a might. Uh, you were. Hang on. What are you? You're perfidious. Ah, but you're. Yeah, fire resistance. But we haven't done the rest of the set yet. We'll put you on for now. But we'll keep you. We also just picked up, you are garbage, you are honestly slightly better, so we'll get rid of the old ones. Uh, we'll put you guys on, that's all fine too. My boots of ice aversion, Ooh. my shield of buckler, which does have a slot I need to fill at some point. I do need to fill that slot uh, at some point or another, meaning that can now go uh, instead. And yeah, we just, need to sell, we just need to sell a giant pile of junk. Oh, do I need to reset my accessories, by the way? Are they all automatically set? Oh, yeah, that soldier's necklace I picked up. So that is more health versus tiny bit less health. But I do like that regeneration. So I'll keep my existing one. So that can just be junked. Uh, and I did pick up Bloodstone as well. Ooh, 5% chance to steal 10 damage per hit. Yes, because I'm hitting all the time. Because I'm using fast attacks. Uh, the daggers. So 100%, uh, yeah. that's great. Uh, and Lanka also points out, if you keep going Rogue Mage, the Fate cards later on give your dodge poison when used to jump through uh, big groups of enemies. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. pretty good. Uh, so we're going to replace that. So yeah, now I'm mm. stealing now I'm stealing health from enemies, but I'm hitting them like all the time with daggers. So that's actually going to proc a fairly large amount of the time, which I'm pretty happy with actually. But I'll keep those rings, because you know, they're nice rings. So that's all absolutely fine. So what we need to do really is we need, just need to nip over to a shop, sell all the junk, and uh, yeah, and potentially, uh, hang on, which which bit of my my shield had a slot, didn't it? Was my, it was my shield? Yeah, my shield's got a slot. It's a pretty good shield. Uh, so I may as well just like hammer something into it. So yeah, I'm going to nip over to what's its face. Um, the uh, the town, I think at the, not the spider problem town, the also yes, the spider problem town. I know where it is on the map, so I'm going to go there. I'm going to sell that because I'm almost full up of inventory right now. So I need to sell all of that, and then we will be in good shape. So, Claire, all yours for a second. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, shout out to uh, Cam, who gave us five pounds. Uh, and wants to know if anyone else is getting major Skyrim vibes from John playing this game. It's a 100 part series out of the question. <laughs> Uh, much love as always. Oh, it's I, I, I'm not sure whether. I really mean, unfortunately, we don't really have time for any kind of a new series right now. Yeah. Uh, well, no, you know, no, that's fair. What we'll all do is we'll just cancel our Fallout for you and live once, uh, in order to make room for this. Everyone will be happy with that, right? Yeah. Everyone? There's no other games they want before. No. This. Definitely right? not. No. Me. No. Ah. No. You know what? Though we that one comment, that's fine. It's that's yeah. that's now it's it's now their fault. 
that Fallout 4 You Only Live Once has been postponed to 2026. Thanks, Cam. Yeah, Cam. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I feel really Don't bad. I'm soft on those. Right, uh, so sell all junk. I tried to be fake mean for like a second and I feel bad now. Just I'm made, really Ford just made ridiculous amounts of money uh, doing mm -hmm. that. Has your inventory changed? I think people were saying it doesn't change. I think people were saying it like, um, the, uh, the inventory, uh, never changes. Uh, it, it's just like tied to the local stuff. Uh, what's that by the, oh, that's a mite tied thing, which I should have guessed, to be honest. I'm not sure you've really got much. Okay, so I'm down to like half inventory limit. So that's all okay. absolutely fine. Oh dear, riots in chat. Is this the, is this the place where I... Oh. No, that's where you combine shards into gems. Oh no, hang on, no, it is the right place. Uh, socket gems. Uh, yeah, so my shield and buckler. I've got, I've got some, yeah, sure, the gem of... Qu oh, actually, no, I can make a better, I'm going to make a better one. I'm going to craft a gem. I'm going to craft an armor gem. And uh, all I need to do is make my shield better at... Yeah, physical shard, and like a protection shard, so 9% physical resistance. Okay, that strikes me as like a pretty good thing for a shield to have, to be honest. So, we've created the gem of phasing, uh, which is nice. Uh, what else do we have, by the way? Physical, lightning, protection, etc. I think I'm fine with that. So, oh, hang on, no, no, now we socket it. So, shield of buckler, gem of, uh, gem of phasing, so we're going to shove that in, confirm the socketing. And we've now socketed it to them. Uh, so, okay, there we go. My shield is now a little bit better than it was. And also, I think some of my weapons are a bit low. Uh, are you the repair person? Uh, yes, you're the repair person. Good. Um, so, my equip stuff. Uh, yeah, I need the stuff that I like. Yeah, the crackling blow is, is really good. That's super cheap to do. In fact, this is so cheap, I'm just going to have... I'm just going to get it all done. Uh, particularly uh, charge fey blades and... Wait, why can't I not... Can I get, oh, good, yeah, those are... The, oh, blimey, those are a bit expensive. Ah, screw it, I just made a ton of money, whatever. Uh, may as well have them all ready to go. And that stuff is not set, but whatever. In fact, why is that... Why have I not sold that? And you're just... Oh, this is the... Yeah, this is the Plague Town. Ignore the coughing. It's not me. It's the Plague Town. Uh, yeah, okay. So now, now my weapons are where they should be again. And I've got some new items and shit. So, okay, we should now be, yes, I've got tons of uh, inventory space. So I can go hang out with my girlfriend. Now I've got everything as I need to, though. I'll show you one thing I do need to check. I need to check what the layout of my spells is to make sure I know what spell is on where. Because there's a couple of my spells that I activate permanently. So, for example, yeah, my poison I like having on all the time. And my protection... Okay, so now I've only got like, now I just, now I just live in a bubble. Now I just, you know what, this is it. This is my social distance bubble clan. I'm in Plague Town, so I just wander around with my social distance bubble. So no nice. one can get close to me and the, and the plague can't get me. So that's pretty good. So yeah, like literally. I like one of those, actually. <laughs> Hello, I'm socially distancing and you can't stop me. Uh, so that's good. Yeah, you can't um, go into shops without your uh, sphere bubble. Exactly. If, if, yeah, you, if we, we reserve the right to uh, refuse service to anyone not using a sphere bubble of magic. Okay, how does my, my marked magic thing work? Uh, so yeah, if I want to use this, so mark that. Okay, and then hold to execute. Aha! I see. So one, and then uh, I don't have the magic anymore. So execute. Execute. Oh, do I, oh, you need the magic to execute as well, do you? Okay, well, that's unfortunate. And then how often is my thing going to execute? Because, yeah, right now I, I literally can't execute that. And there we go. Did it... Did... Hang on. How do I... Okay, my problem is I don't think I've got enough magic to... Oh, did you come out to help? Oh, thanks for that. That's very appreciated. So, and then we just get over here. Just nod you and hopefully get ourselves some, uh, yeah, giant piles of uh, health back. Come on, where's my... It should be activating like 10% of the time. I'm feeling like I'm being, I'm being short done by it because I'm attacking them constantly. There it is, there it is. Just propped there. So that's nice. And excuse the flip out of me. And bow, dead. Okay, so we're killing pretty effectively. But yeah, I've got like... Maybe I've not got enough magic because of that to, like, use my mark ability. That might be the problem. That that could be the problem right there. I think I've literally not got enough mana to you really... You have a mana potion now? 
I do. That that is true. I do have mana potions. And uh, thank you for pointing that out, Bob Space in chat. And speaking of which, I should buy some more health potions because I'm actually really low. Uh, I'm really uh, low on those. Whilst what? Well, well, whilst you go and do that, I'm good at talking. Yeah. Uh, thank goodness it's not part of my job or anything. Uh, shout out to Simon who gave us ten pounds and says, "Hey, John, Claire, and Tabby." I just want to say a huge thank you for getting me through the madness that has been COVID and dissertation rewrites. The dissertation is finally over now. I just have to deal with that awful weight for my mom. And then over here. Oh, look how, look how often I'm getting health back. This is much better. Mm. Well, I hope... Uh, did did they say how long they have to wait? Longbow of Carnage? No, I don't know how long they have to wait, but I hope that uh, it's not too much longer and it's a good mark. And if you have to do... Tell you uh, what, that's Yeah, good. I don't know. That's really good. Look at that. Look at that Longbow of Carnage right there. Mm -hmm. That's way more physical damage, way more piercing damage and bleed damage. Now, I don't get a tiny bit of lightning damage over time, but I'll take it. Like, the bleed damage... In fact, the, the bleed damage of... Yep, dumb. Dumb. Flipping heck. We're gonna we're gonna replace that. So, uh, what even is that? That's a necklace, which is some form of holy relic, which I don't care. I'll take about, but it appears to be. I think I might have just found a quest thing. Something, something, something. Brother, something. I don't actually care. Uh, I'll take some plague shield as there's a plague going on. Right now, I need to need to find something I can test my my thing on. Right, where's my where's where's some assholes who I can just test my thing on? So yes, uh. You guys, you're the whatever they're called. Uh, right, so you. Yep, yeah, and then, uh, no, no, not that one. Then you. Okay, so now they're both activated. So now I've tagged both of them. And boom. Oh, wow. Okay, that's pretty good. That killed one of them straight off and then just digging on him. And oh, there's a bear. Why is there always more bears than I'm expecting? Luckily, I can just uh, do any of that. And yeah, this is... Ah! My bow doesn't stagger anymore. The stagger was being caused by lightning, I think. That's kind of unfortunate, but I'll take it for the bonus damage. I still think it's worth it. So, okay, yes, that, that flame ability is pretty powerful. Whether it's worth doing it over just a standard lightning ball, I don't really... I don't really know. So, yeah, the... the this, in its level 3 form, is doing... Hang on. So it does, yeah, 160 damage and 20 burning damage. Does it actually say how long for? Cost to mark is to... Ah, the cost to mark is cheap because to execute. So it's 10, then 36 is the execution. Meanwhile, Storm Bolt is... Uh, how much does that actually cost me right now? Current level is... Uh, that's 80. 30% chance to stun for 4 seconds. Uh, and also uh, shocking damage in an area. So yeah, even at a lower level, that's actually doing way more damage. That's doing way more damage. So, uh, and it's uh, 10 and 36. So, 10, so 46 uh, in general versus uh, 32 for a single bolt. But against a group, I could lay, yeah, I could lay that against like um, four targets for 40 mana. And then detonate for 36. So at that point, I'm spending, uh, what's that, uh, 76 mana for... That much damage against four targets versus that's the same mana I'd spend on two much weaker storm bolts. So that actually feels pretty good. Uh, though my full mana is okay. My full mana right now is well, right now it's forty-five, but it, it's still going up a little bit. So that's going to recover a little bit over time. So I'm gonna check what my full mana amount is. Right, well let's wait for that to fill up. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Simon, do let us know about the uh, dissertation, how long you've got to wait, and like whether it's a PhD or something else. I don't yes. Know. Uh, but uh, in the same vein, we have a message from, uh, not sure if it's uh, Geraint, Geraint, uh, who gave us 10 Do you mean Geraint, uh, the, the Welsh name? Ah, I did not know that that was a Welsh name. Like Geraint the old, the old uh, N64 journalist, Geraint Evans. Uh, yes, well, it's, that's it's, what it's the a name not is. uncommon Welsh name. Yeah. No, that's what the name is. <clears throat> yeah. On the account, Geraint Evans. Is it the Geraint Evans? I don't Ask know. him if he worked for N64 magazine back in the day. Oh my god, if you did, then John has <laughs> a pile of N64 magazines with your writing in them in the bathroom. Do. <clears throat> FYI. I do. I like reading them just before I go to bed. I find it very relaxing. Uh, you didn't have to say they were in the bathroom. <laughs> that's the fun part. 
Oh, God. Okay, so hang on. My mana okay, is... Wait, wait, did wait, you wait, want wait. to know what they said? Yes, this is about N64 magazine. Uh-huh. Well, then, no! Uh, Geraint says... Uh, Geraint! Sorry! Can you say again? Geraint. Geraint? Yeah. Uh, gave us ten pounds and says, Hi, both. I just want... <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you for getting me through some of the tougher bits of the last 18 months and let you know that this week I got approved for a mortgage 10 years earlier than planned. Oh, sweet. That's well, pretty sweet. And thank you for all your writing on N64 magazine. Unless you're a different Unless you're a different uh, person, Jared Evans. In, in which case, you know, uh, you're, uh, we're sure we're still, you're so awesome, so that's fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, Anthony <laughs> says, yours and John's Welsh pronunciations are painful. I don't mean to be nasty, but yeah, but I'm foreign. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, I see. I mean, to be fair, I'm not I'm not foreign anymore, yeah. but um, yeah. The problem is I need the amount of mana I need to trigger all the Mark of Flame. Is because, like, yeah, every single bolt is uh, 32 mana. And if I want to do a full set of Mark of Flame, and it's the most efficient way, would be to lay all of them, then detonate them. I need 46 minimum, up to 76. But I've only got 55 right now. So I feel like, actually, if I turn off the protection, then my full mana, just drink the potion, because I may as well, uh, then I'm up to... Then I've got 91. So I feel like, okay, I'm going to turn off the protection because that's only 5% damage reduction, which is not really that much. But it's a huge impact on my mana bar. But I really want to leave on the poison because I love the poison. And this means I've now got the mana to cast that spell again. To... Oh, it's, it's your it's your puppy friend. It's your puppy friend's back. So that's nice. Uh, and then... No, no, no. No. Oh, there's a bunch of them. That's a concern. Well, actually, no. This is good. Right. One and two and a boost. Oh, now that. And it's got a good stagger on it, too, actually. This is actually really good. And they know you don't. And then a bit. And there's also just a random guy coming in over there. And then a bit more. Get out the way. Fire. Bo, you are... Okay, you guys have decided you want to be friends, do you? Well, that's fine, Mr. Brownie. I'm just going to harvest health off you. And sadly, it didn't proc, but... Okay, yes, I'm feeling very good with this. That mark ability is seriously balanced. It looks like it actually might have a bit of an area effect. Like, if you tie, if you throw it to an enemy, it seems like it sort of hits nearby enemies too, I think. Uh, which is pretty good. Sorry, I'm just gonna I'm gonna lead a couple of enemies together. So you guys, I want you to no, not you. Excuse me. Yeah, you. Yeah, I just want to get his attention. So I'm just gonna get these guys to kind of vaguely walk close to each other, and then no. Nope. Okay, so uh, then if I just do that, yeah, that it uh, that does have an error of effect. So does that mean actually when it says per per mark, does that mean per cast? And there we go. I get some health back. Off my vampire ring, you fall over, job done. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I need to know, I need to know exactly how this works now. I need to check the exact wording. So, it is, cost to mark is 10 mana. Okay, chat, when it says cost to mark 10 mana, does that mean casting always costs 10, regardless of how many it marks? Like, an attempt to mark is 10, but even if you marked everybody, it would be... Yeah, marking has... Okay, so marking has AoE. Okay, well, if marking has AoE, then all I need to do is I can have this on. I'm happy to have that on. Just drink another potion because I've got loads of them. Because then I can do a uh, thing and an explosion in a single. I can always do that. As long as I just basically let them get close together. So there's a group of enemies, then I just basically say, you know what? I'm going to let you get close together. And then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna cast it. Then I'm gonna execute. And then I can always do, yeah, cost per cast. And then there's cost per execute. So if I just wait for them to come together, like a group of four enemies, I do one cast. They all get hit. And then okay, so I can have my protection bubble on after all. Okay, social distancing is not cancelled. Social Woo! distancing is now social distancing is now back on the menu. So that's. Okay, now that's that's a fun ability. I'm looking forward to. Okay, you see, the live stream of magic has lo- has magic in it. Whee! You see, this is good. This is excellent news. You're just gonna have some uh, plague on you. And yeah. boop, then back, and there you go. Lovely. That bleed damage is beautiful, right there. Which uh, 
Which thing is that, by the way? Please be what is And yeah, I think we them. told you earlier that Mark of Flame had an area of effect. Uh, effect. Yeah, but I kind of ignore you unless... I know, <sighs> but I'm just pointing out that if maybe you didn't do that, then uh, mm. maybe that'd be better for you. Oh, right? that was Tierden's charge! That's 20% bonus damage uh -huh. under all circumstances. That's like the best one. Right, so that's, that's, okay, so that's all of you, all of you, f oh, you're a brownie anyway, oh, this is, oh, I'm so sorry, this is, this, today's a bad day to be you, and just get over there and just murder, 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 and then I don't care, because now I'm just going to get myself loads, yeah, and then I'm just going to keep going after you, the crits, are, I'm getting loads of crits already, and hopefully we'll harvest a bit more uh, health off you yet, no, we did not. But yeah, the health situation is way easier. Now I've got that vampire ring. I like the vampire ring. But I'm still low on potions, so... Okay, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to sell... Hey, John. Yes. Uh, we have a message in chat from uh, Garen who says, I didn't work for N64 and it is a hard G at the beginning of my name. I'm sorry. Shit, I wonder if the original Garen Evans was actually Garen Evans. Oh, I wonder if I've been mispronouncing that name for a long time. It's Welsh. Welsh has some pronunciation rules that can be a bit hard to follow. Oh, oh, is that is that English calling the the kettle black that I can hear? Hmm. Mm -hmm. What well, English? <laughs> English doesn't have rules. English has no rules. Yeah, it's very annoying to learn. Was this the apothecary? Yes, oh, that's the apothecary. Dear. Right, and let's just go and buy basically all the potions this, uh, the little dwarf or whatever here has. Is a dwarf or a gnome? I don't know. I just want to shop here, and that's... There we go. I'm literally going oh, wow. to buy all of them. Yes, yeah, screw it. Yes. Uh, hey, shout out to Kyle, who uh, gave us $160 trillion. Oh, wow. Thank you very, very much indeed. That's... Wow. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Kyle. Kyle says, I recently ran into some money. I wanted to share the good luck. Now, I've been watching this channel since New Vegas Kill Everything, and it's helped me through the good times and the bad. Oh, well, thank you. That's a ridiculously long time, too. Following New Vegas Kill Everything goes back, uh, that goes back uh, seven years at this point. Yeah. That's, that's a dumb long time. So thank you so much and for hanging around as long as you have. I also love the expression, I recently ran into some money. I don't know if it's a, an Australian phrase. I've heard that before. But it's not I specifically am, Australian anyway. I don't know. I just like, I'm just imagining a cartoon character who's like running into like a shower of bills, you know? <laughs> like when people say, take my money. Mm. And it's like uh, throwing notes all around. Excellent. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, yeah, and John uh, John A. Doe points out in chat, English has a ton of rules. It just tends to have more exceptions to the rules than the number of rules. That is correct. Uh, but when you tell uh, when you tell um, when you tell native uh, English speaker about some of the rules, they're just like, "What? That's not a rule. That's just you. Just kind of know." Yeah. Maybe it's just John. Mm -hmm. um, right, I'm gonna go hang out with my girlfriend. I feel like we're now in a good place to go and hang out with my girlfriend. Um, uh, so we're gonna go hang out with Trilla over at the House of Ballads. Now, I wonder if I've, like, I've skipped head here, because I'm already a member of the House of Ballads. So, if we're lucky, that means I could kind of, maybe, like, that would have been, the, like, the game would say, okay, now you need to go join the House of Ballads. Like, but I don't need yes. to, because I've already done that. So, uh, job done. And I'm already, sir... Glynel. I, I can't remember. Oh, an hello. Codex, just like in the tales. Intriguing. Why would such a thing be revealed to a child of dust? Hey, I'm one of you. I'm, I'm literally a member of the House of Ballads. Screw you, mate. Right. Hello, Trella. How are you doing? And here I was beginning to think that you'd never show up. Sorry, I'm shopping to do. Your master of the House of Ballads. Give the index <laughs> over to him, and he may have your answers. Yep, sure. That seems fine to me. Lore Master Glyonal has devoted centuries to the study of lore and ancient fey stories. The codex you found isn't just any law stone. Just talk to him, and I'm sure he'll be able to shed some light on the issue. I like, I like my social distance bubble. It's literally she's standing just outside my social distance bubble. Uh -huh. It's great. Right, well, I guess I'll, I'll handle this to you, mate. Can, can I give you, you the thing? Hello. I'm also it's literally a member of the... Okay, I'm a bit disappointed there's not special dialogue for if you're already a member of the House of Ballads, because he should know who I am. He should already know. 
And, uh, yeah, what's going on here? The fabled Codex of Destiny. When the Fate Weavers formed their order, a High King gave his own wisdom to assist them. To have such knowledge in your hands is a tremendous gift, but why did it reveal itself to you? Um, I'm the Fateless One, actually. Nonsense. All children of dust have a story that is written before you see your first dawn. Now, I can only make out some parts, but this is odd. The Codex speaks of an exception, a void, an end to the endless. This is simply too much. The High King would never pawn such absurdity off as wisdom. Okay, I'm sorry, but it's real and I'm the end to the endless or something. I'm sure you think it is. I fear you must have been taken in by a forgery. A perfectly created one, perhaps, but a forgery nonetheless. But this Codex speaks of impossible things. Changes to fate, death of the immortals and other heresies. To ascribe these lies to the High King would be... I'm sorry, but I must ask you to take it away. I will have no part in these lies. Right, bloody idiot. Right, it's not fake. Is there a meaning to it? Only its author could tell you. Right, so he's not willing to play ball. Do not bother me with such foolishness again. Right, well, me and Triller will go and find out what's going on there. Like, why is she tre- She, she really is not tre- You're going to catch the death of Cole, but dear, please put a jumper on. Lionel spends his life cherishing old stories, but show him something truly new, and he dismisses it. Tragic. I feel like that was a pun directed at me. Dedicates your life to old stories, sees something new, dismisses it. But yeah, give me the complete works of an ad, damn it. So, yeah, um, did you have a plan B, by the way, Trilla? First of all, we ignore this fool. Most Fae aren't comfortable with change, and you are certainly something new. I'm afraid that only one person will really be able to help us with the Codex. The High King himself. Is that Wenson? Because I'm pretty sure I've already gone and met him. It would be difficult. His court is in the city of Issa. Very few mortals are permitted in its gardens. I do know one individual who can grant you permission to enter, but you'll have to meet him alone. I think I've already got permission to enter there, because I think that's part of the the House of Ballads quest, actually. Neurolim is more of a what than a who. You'll understand when you meet him. With any luck, he'll be more favorably disposed to you than he is to me. He's bound to be curious, at least. You'll find him in southeast Dalantar, at Cairn Neuralim. Just head towards the giant tree and, well, you'll see. Right, some form of not-human thing then, I guess. You'll have to meet him on your own. I'd accompany you, but Neuralim and I have our disagreements. Okay, uh, fair enough. So, she ain't coming for that. That's a shame. I was enjoying hanging out with my girlfriend for a bit. But alright, fine. I guess you can't always... Oh, hang on, while I'm here. May as well say hello to the doctor and help myself to a bit of bonus health. Why not? Uh, yeah, and uh, JB Dog Emar uh, points out that uh, you you get special dialogue, but only when you've completed the quest line. Like ah, of, yeah, makes uh, sense. Yeah, you can sure. become king of ballads, and then there's a special dialogue. Yeah. Uh, and yes, of course. Um, ooh, I don't know if uh, uh, find the Condra. Okay. Look, I don't know. Yeah. There's a lot of double letters in this name. Uh, but uh, gave us five dollars and pointed out, of course, that English mugs other languages in back alleys and rummages in their pockets for loose grammar. And as uh, somebody else pointed out, spare vocabulary. Yep, heard that uh, one before, yes, of course. Yes, definitely heard that one before. It's very, very true. Um, yes, shout out to Esidus who gave us five dollars and says, I think I missed my last boop because of a work call. So here's a backup boop. Just in case, boop. Yay. Um, oh. FYI, Esidus, you didn't miss your miss your last boop because John hasn't been letting me talk. Pfft, uh, whatever. So, uh, yes, uh, thing, boop again. Another boop. Another right. boop for you. Right, there's Issa. So, okay, yeah. that's not where I was supposed to be going. So, as it's closer, I'm going to pick up uh, that quest with Two Nights and a Troll. So, yeah, go and have a chat to the Ballad's Librarian. Uh, which I believe is pretty close by to where I've already been. Yeah, I've already been pretty close by to there. So if I just head to Canarock and then head pretty much in a straight line, I should be able to get there. So I'm pretty sure that was Spider Town. So I'm not going to deal with their spider problem. I just want to pick up with the House of Ballads and, like, you know, go and find the elf thing. Because clearly this is one of those games where you're not going to do literally everything. 
that ain't gonna fly. Uh, but now if I just go in this direction, I should pretty much be going in the right direction. Might just kill a few spiders on the way, but I won't be actually, you know, dealing with the spider problem uh, directly. Uh, so local map is... Uh, yeah, looks like if I was to take the bridge out of town over here, that should take me in roughly the right direction. And, oh, I accidentally pressed A next to a door. I was just trying to, I was just trying to sprint. I was just trying to sprint. It's, 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 it's okay, game. It's fine. Oh, double boop Wednesday. That's very cute. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, in fairness to John, actually, I should say, it's not that he's not letting me talk. It's more that uh, we have a lot of questions for chat about how this game works. Mm -hmm. And so we end up talking a lot to chat. Yes. Uh, which slows down Super Chat. So I'm very sorry about that. Uh, if you are still waiting for yours, they are coming. I've got them all. Uh, so let's see. See. Uh, about this stream, a knight of hope gave us five dollars uh, and says, "John, do you know that you can multiclass into all three trees at the same time?" Yeah, that story make that makes sense. I mean, I do like the flexibility of this system. Oh, yeah. I do, I do like the flexibility that you can just like say, "You know what? I want to be any blender, whatever." Like where classes are really flexible. I've not really kind of seen something quite like that before, and it's very cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying that. That's, yeah, that's and a we've very got good people thing. in the chat pointing out that they did, in fact, 100 percent this game. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. It's one that, like, some, some games, like, mm. the thing is, there's some games I really like that just don't really inherently potentially make good, uh, ooh, there's undead things here. Hello, weird skeleton creatures. Well, that's fine. If you just like to all stand next, close enough to each other, that's all absolutely fine. You know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go. Oh, oh, yeah. And now, three-way boot. Oh, that was, that was pretty good. I'll take that, damn it. And then, boat. And then get close enough to you. Go, go, go. I don't know what a... Uh, there's some weird skeleton creature, but... Oh, yeah, now that was a slaughter. That was... That was good shit. That was some good shit right there. I'll take some free stuff off all of you. There's some games that are really, like... Uh, the games are just, like... Very relaxing games. That are really, really good for just, like, you know... Playing for 10 million years. But I don't think they make good videos, so I don't cover them. Like, um, I did do a video of Xenoblade Chronicles. It's one of my favourite games. However, it's a get it was one of the longest videos I ever made. There was an essay. It was two hours long. Just to get to, like, the first major plot thing. Because there's so much happening in that game and there's so much story. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is a game I will never put on the channel. Because it takes 10 million years. But, like, it's also a game that's incredible value. Which is, if you just, like, get into it, there's hundreds of hours of stuff in there. Uh, but like, I'll probably never make a video of it because it just doesn't feel like, uh, like, you know, it doesn't feel like I could ever, like, cover even the slightest fraction of it in a video. And I couldn't cut too much of it down because there's so much going on. And I feel like games like this and Xenoblade 2, like, they're, they're, they're games I could get super into, but I'm not sure I could ever make good videos about them. And I feel like I did make a pretty good video, uh, for this one. I don't think I did, like, a bad job or anything, but I feel like... Okay, come on. Well, a good video and a yes. hundred good videos in yes. a series aren't quite the same. Yes, exactly. Because with Skyrim, there was really like a story. And there was a story I made, yes. Yeah. yeah, that was my own story there, mm. yes. I'm guessing you're poison resisting. Oh, hello. Sorry. <laughs> no, you don't. 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 This is all fine. And it. And electricity is... Oh, I kind of thought you were water, to be honest. But no. But there's the st uh, there's that stagger. By the way, and then just over to you, over to you. I should probably stop using the uh, the electro box. It just means I don't have the mana to do anything else, which is kind of unfortunate. And we'll just grip that nice and fast. Uh, right, well, I just, well, hopefully do that anyway. And, oh, 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 is it more in this direction? So, gosh darn it. Where, where are you? I, I've now, I've taken, a, I think I took a point out of lock pick, picking. Is it more over here? So now lock picking's trickier than it was. We've got Skyrim style. Got it! But there's nothing good in here. Uh, crude Azerite Fey Blades. I mean, they're... Oh. It's not bad. Oof. It's a lot of damage, actually. <gasps> Amazing. Uh, yeah, oh, X... no, I won't say no. XDeezer2 in chat says, uh, you, you could make a series of this game without even cutting any of it. It'd probably be better for a game like this with tons of dialogue. Psh. That's really really far away from like the style of this channel though. yes exactly like, would, it would just stand out yeah i mean know? that's not that's not to say it's a bad thing like no, i'm, abs I'm absolutely loving chugger conroy's series on xenoblade 2 right now 
Uh, like it, yeah, you put an episode up on the telly every evening. I do. I watch like it. I find it kind of really relaxing to watch just for bed because, mm-hmm. like, it's it's much less like you know frenetic, silly explosions than I do. Mm. Uh, so I feel like it's it's a very good wind down thing. I don't think my content's good wind down content. Yeah, some um, people have said that they enjoy just like listening to you talk. Uh, some I you know, I, I personally I, I I need something a bit more kind of chill and just gently well researched and in and just edu edutainmentable uh, for my kind of wind down. So I like Joe Conroy like as one the last video I watched before bed. Uh, I find that very relaxing. Yeah. Uh, so I'm really enjoying his Xenoblade 2 social now. But like, it wouldn't be, it's not a style I would make. I wouldn't make those videos myself, but I think they're really good. I think they're really, really damn good. I think it's great stuff. And, oh yeah, I need to remember Reckoning Mode is a thing that exists. Also, why are you not, you guys just not interested in, in coming over? Ah, they, they, they just weren't. So now I'm just going to wail on you a little bit and you'll take the... Oh no, you're definitely... You're not resistant to poison because I'm seeing the poison coming out of you right there. Uh, Jinx says it depends on the series. Uh, Crusader Kings 2 and 3 is pretty chill. I think... Uh, I That's think true. Like That's for, for true. Those, those are pretty chill. Mm. Ooh, what's, what's that road? Um. That is... Okay, that's... Okay, now I'm vaguely... I wasn't thinking about mage stuff before... But you know what? I could get bonus mana off some mage robes that aren't even that terrible when it comes to protection. You know, I'll take that. I'm going to take that, and then what do you do? That's Yeah, I could wear a ring. Actually, I'm already getting 20 mana. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> there's a lot of people in chat saying that they fall asleep to your videos, by the way. Oh, I, I'd find my videos a bit too frenetic and occasionally liable to cause explosion and whibbling uh, to go to sleep. I, I, need something, I need something a bit more calm. I find Chuck O'Connor very calm. I love his style, but I'd never make it myself. Like, I find myself putting on my editing mode when I watch his videos. I like to think, I, I like, I love, like, you know, I watch, like, you know, Tevis, they say, I'd probably have just cut that out, to be honest. That's what would have been in my version of this video. Um, so, uh, you know, clearly we, we've got very different styles. Right, Ballad's Library. And right. I've got the key. Oh, I've got the signet ring, too. So, uh, glad I didn't sell that, to be honest. Oh, hello. She's, she's got a social distance okay. bubble, too. You must forgive my lack of hospitality. The Maid of Windermere and her minions have left me in a bit of a situation. Preth and Aramur could offer no remedy, but perhaps your mortal ingenuity will prevail where others have failed. I'm on me honest, I can't remember why I'm supposed to be here. I thought you were just supposed to be telling me about a story, but apparently something else has happened in the meantime. The Maid paid me a visit this past evening. She and her accomplice, Nyx the Troll, stole my most prized cairns. All that work, and for what? With what I know, I should have expected an attack. Even this imprisonment spell, it is the same she used in the Ballad of Two Knights and a Troll. I can't recall the counterspell, of course, as that cairn was stolen. You must get them back, mortal. All of them. Especially the one you came for. Okay, so she's, um, yeah, she's, she's inside a trap bubble. It's not a social distance bubble, she's trapped in a bubble. Her nearest lair is Sunder Caverns, where her minion Nyx makes his home. It is a craggy pit in Haxi, east. All right, that's the direction I was going in anyway, so that works for me. Spectacular. Right, so she's... Oh! Ow! Okay, it's... it's, it's, a, it's, it's the bubble causes... Does it mean I can just rob you and you can't stop me? Just out of interest. Can I just... Uh, can I just have your stuff now? Because you're trapped in a bubble. Right, I'm just going to go ransack your bedroom for a second. Clap! Uh, yeah, shout out to Knight who says... Whee! who gave us a $20 uh, and says, Hey, John Claire and all hail Tabby. Thank you for the Fallout 4 essays of Fall Guys uh, and Kingdom of Amalur streams. I've been needing some good distractions. I'm getting, lab I'm getting lab tests done to find out what is damaging my nerves. First appointment with an oncologist today. Ooh. So there you go. I hope it goes okay for you. Excellent. Uh, yes, indeed. I hope uh, they can figure things out. Uh, and then we've got also... Uh, Sweet. So I just, I just stole a book from her and it made me better at dispelling. Mm. So now I've read it. Can I just... I've already learned that. Okay, so I can junk that. Can I read this? I was supposed to have read this already. No, this is just a Skyrim book. Okay, this is just a Skyrim book. So we're going to junk that. And, okay, that, that's not giving me anything. That's, okay, all of that gets junked. And probably these skulls get junked, to be honest. I feel like I've got, I've got enough skulls. I don't, need, I don't need more skulls than what I've got. Right, I've stolen your book and there's nothing you could do about it. Nye, 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 nye. 
So, yep, she's looking a bit confused. Right, I'll, I'll go and get the thing back. I like being blasted off my feet by that, by the way. That's good. Uh, right, okay. Well, it doesn't hurt because I've got my protection bubble. My social distance bubble. It's a very it's a very aggressive social distance bubble. If you get more than two meters next to her, she blasts you off your feet. It's pretty good. Right, where am I going at this point? And uh, there's, oh, there's bloody more people who want to uh, speak to me over there. Recover the cans and uh, also recover the cans. Okay, so I just need to basically go around the corner a bit. All right, that shouldn't be uh, too difficult to do. Apparently there's a haxy, there's a dam here. And you probably want to tell, ask me to do something about the dam. Fine, we're going in this direction anyway. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Where was I? Okay. You regenerated fast. Dear, oh dear. Uh, shout out to Lanka, who uh, gets five euros and says, John, you should go to the colony. Uh, I mean, you should uh, explore foreign lands to the south uh, in the DLC. Such a pretty place. I think it, was supposed, it said, like, level 10 minimum, uh, though you can go if you want to. Yeah, I'm so not even level 10 amazing. yet, okay. so I, I wonder, I don't want to go and do the DLC yet. I want to go and focus on the, you know, the bits, that all of this nonsense first. Uh, yes, indeed. And then uh, Matt gave us five dollars uh, and says, "Hey, John, can you say hi to my fiance, Victoria?" Hello, Victoria. Hello, Victoria. Right. Uh, so <laughs> right. This guy's probably got a quest for me. Glad to see someone else is still out and about in these woods. The mountain trolls have been out of control lately. Just want me to kill mountain no, trolls? Because if so, just say. Killed by them while we were... One of the trolls is still hanging around the camp we made out here. Yep, so kill troll, get be get belongings, belongings of jewelry. Yep, we're that's absolutely fine. I'll I'll do that. No problem whatsoever. Just 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 point here. me in the right direction. I, I will go and help. Yep, I I know it's trolls. Just just let me just point me at the damn camp. I think there are five, the five wandering around. The forest. All right, Later I think I'm just doing this guy's job for him, but whatever. Uh, a brutal contract. Well, may as well set that, to be honest. Okay, they're all to the south of me anyway, though. There's one... There's one ah, one of them's very close by, so just to loop around in this direction. Grab him on the way past. Might be able to help myself to Jory's stuff. I mean, I've taken out trolls before. Let's see if these guys are actually particularly tough in any way. And, oh, I'm taking, yeah, you're taking some good uh, damage there, and no, ow, that's not doing anything much, and no, and that actually staggered you beautifully, let's just get some poison on you, then get out the way, back off, get some bleed damage, you're about to do something, and go, I can't see, get around the back of you, then get loads of poison damage on you, all the fade blade damage, oh yeah, I'm just kicking the ass of this troll at this point, okay, trolls are no longer a massive problem, I feel like I've got their number, and he's taking it, he's got a little bit of damage on me, but back off, ah, they do get some big hits in mind, uh, he's almost done, and down he goes, and I level up, so I get my health back anyway, so that's absolutely fine, but there's got to be some good stuff just floating around, uh, floating around, Wow, I just kicked that log like it was nothing. Love it. Uh, Claire, why don't we just take care of this? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, shout out to uh, Skit Rude Battle Stomper. Excellent who, name. Uh, gave us $20 and wants to know how do I save paganism in Crusader Kings 3? It is tricky. Mm. It is tricky. I mean, depends who you are and where you are, of course. Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, and XDeezer2 gave us $10 and wants to know if you've ever played the Impressions City Builders. They're from the 90s, easy to find on good old games. Specifically, I think Zeus, with its liberal use of mythology and punny writing, would be right up your alley. I've No, I'm not familiar with them at all, actually, mm. so I do not know anything about them. I'm just going to take Blacksmith up to two so I can have three components when crafting, because I know that means I can make much better stuff. Might be able to make something much better. So, okay. Do I want any finesse at this point? Is there any finesse I want? I could make my bows a, a little bit stronger. So that's more to piercing damage and also just general to uh, as a percentage as well. Arrow Storm... Would I rather have arrows? Actually, arrow storm. Doesn't arrow storm cost? Does arrow storm cost something? Hang on, I've got three points. I may as well unlock it. Does that cost something? No, it doesn't cost mana. Is it? if it does, it doesn't say. Uh, so I could just max that out. To be honest, I think that's actually not a bad air of effect attack. So yeah, you know what? I'm gonna just max that out. I'm I'm fine with that just being maxed right away. And if I want to, uh, yeah, I'll stick with disciple of tier two. Uh, so set that. That's all absolutely fine. Apparently I've been picking up various other 
bits and pieces. Yeah, those ropes. Keep just keep an eye on those ropes. We might want to uh, use them. That is so far wearing sorcery. We may as well scrap it because we're never gonna. By the time we get there, we're never gonna need it. That can just uh, that can just go. To be honest, that's not very good. That seems like that's important because it can't be junked. So I'm guessing you're you're significant. So uh, Saint Hadwin. If we run into anything like the thing of Saint Hadwin, maybe just do that. Uh, we definitely won't be using you, though. Like, the mana regen would be nice, but I'm already using the hearty ring, which already gives me the 20. So 0 0.5 per second. We're never going to use that for anything. Uh, and I'm guessing, no, we can't We can't trash that. It's too important. 10% health. Nah, get rid of that. I'll just sell it. That's all absolutely fine. We'll just get rid of all of that nonsense. So that is all absolutely okay. Uh, okay. So we've already managed to get his, uh, his brother's stuff back. Which is nice, but there are some more trolls that need to be killed. So we're just going to take them out while we're just going round the, round the corner. In fact, there's a flipping troll. May as well take out the bogut first, though. And, uh, excuse me. Yeah, you go down first and... No! There we go. Just take all of you out if you'd be so kind. Right, if you'd all like to just get close to each other. Not close enough, darn it. Uh, that, that's the downside, of course. You can get yourself a little bit out of the way and... No! Managed to just about avoid that. Right, get a little bit of damage on you. Just be careful. That big swing's the, the dangerous one. That does a lot of flipping damage. Get some poison on you over time. Back away. This should not be too difficult to do. Lovely. Right, bleed damage next up. And that actually staggers him right there, which is nice. Yeah, the charge bow shot interrupts his charger, which is probably his most powerful attack. So, no. And then just getting over here. Back away. I'm pretty sure he's taking... Now, he's taking bleed and then right up the arse of you. If we're lucky, we'll knock him down in a second. And uh, no, he wasn't. But no, dear, I've been dead. Right, nothing too dramatic here. Yeah, as long as we're careful, this is now fine. We can handle these mountain trolls, no problem. Just, I guess, someone's get a bit excited. And I think, like, we've basically won when it's, he, he's still strong enough to do a fair whack of damage. But that's, yeah, much easier to do. Okay, we, we've got this under control. This is all absolutely... Uh, Fine, my new bow is exactly the same, but without bleed damage, so I won't even bother taking that. What's a jade totem? Okay, it's a type of necklace. So gold drops and XP up. That's kind of fun. I'll sell it. I'll sell it. That's I won't use anything else, but I will I will gladly uh I will gladly sell it. Oh that's his club! That's why, because weapons have like limited so even though it looks quite big, I can just kick it around like it's nothing. That's cute. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, Dragon Trapper who uh, says you should be calling yourself uh, a bartender because you're going to get uh, to help everyone get hammered. <laughs> okay, so you're a bit and behind us, then is what you're trying to tell me. And ga gave us $10. Uh, I'm not super behind because it's not been like, you know, it's not been like flooding in. Uh, but I do have a few, you know. Yes. Um... I, I do try to, if there's something relevant immediately, it, it jumps the queue, so some of the stuff is kind of, you know. Um, yeah, I, th th there's a couple that I, I wish I had been able to say before. I'm, I'm very sorry about that, everybody, but uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> also, um, also a uh, now obsolete hammer related comment, uh, Fister gave us another $2 and so would like you to know, don't worry, John. Fisto never judges a weapon's size. <laughs> Lol. So there you go. Uh, and oh, this is uh, very interesting. Uh, I don't know if you are going to have further thoughts on this uh, than the last time I asked you, uh, but just say, Phil, John killed the space monkeys. Gave us $5 and says, John, with half a million subs around the corner, do you have any big plans? No, because I'm going to be honest, it like, um, the, the, the sub growth has really accelerated a lot recently. So the, the thing was, I was like, oh, we're not going to hit that this year, so I don't even need to think about it. Then, then everything really uh, accelerated quite a lot recently, and everything uh, got a lot faster. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we're going to have to figure that one out. That's not bad. Invest a bit in sorcery, yeah, I'll take them. I don't know if I'll ever get to them. I don't know if I'll get enough points in Sorcerer in time. To, they're still going to be usable. But uh, bare minimum, that's not it's not terrible. And there's clearly a stash over here. So I will help myself to that while I'm passing by. The possible I've already... Oh, I've already bitten. Sorry, I already grabbed that one. Okay. Now I need to cross the other side. So if I follow this road round, uh, there's a troll. And there's... Ah! It's close by to Split Rock Depths. So just two more to go. 
this, you know, I've, I've, I've killed some big stuff here, so hopefully if we live in uh, live in hope, there might actually be some uh, a decent reward out of all of this when all said and done. Clap. <laughs> yes, absolutely. As we've got a few uh, a few trolls to take care of, this is a good time for you to catch up if you wish. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, shout out to uh, Tianan, who uh, gave us... Uh, 2,500 Icelandic kronos. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very, very much uh, indeed. And says, I'm pretty sure that since your character is literally back from the dead, everything that you do is already changing fate. Story checks out. Ow. Didn't seem uh, coming out. And Urban Cohort uh, gave us $6.66 and says, Hello, headquarters! I have broken... You can't do the voice. No, I know I can't, but, like, if I try to do it in a co comically inept way, it makes up for it. Uh, hello, headquarters. I've broken fate and said so in my coffee. Uh, yeah. I mean, I oh, generally ignore how... things that it says in my coffee. Hello, headquarters. It's me. Yes, I've broken fate. Is, is what you were going for. Yeah. Okay, the fact, that there's, the fact that there's two trolls at once is a little bit concerning. So we're going to take out the little lads first and ideally get some... Yeah, we got, we got a oh. tiny bit of health back. There are so many enemies! Why are there so many enemies? Uh, hey, John. Yes? Sorona says, uh, half a million subscriber special. This channel is better than you think. Lol. That would be a... Ow! That would be a bit much. Fudging hell. You got that rocked. Okay, two at a time is a little bit tricky. Two at a time is... Ow! Okay, go over to this guy and... No! Fucking hack! There's too many of them. Give me, give me health, 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 give me, give me health. And and do you have, like, reckoning powers that you could use? Oh, shit! I've got reckoning powers I could use! Activate reckoning powers! Claire, I forgot I've got reckoning powers. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I remembered I got reckoning powers. Oh, yeah, it's quite you, useful. You remembered, that's what happened. Oh, yeah, that's just really quite Thank useful. Thank you, chat! Say thank you to chat. Thank you, chat, for reminding me I've got reckoning. I could, if I, I could have activated them earlier, it would have been very useful. And you're down. Okay, uh, now. Oh, half a million sub special should be Tabby playing a game. Oh, Tabby, not sure. Not sure that's going to fly, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, her only game is Bat at a Spider for yes. like two Sweet. minutes uh, when she's being especially. Uh, Thank it's you for reminding me that fate powers are a thing that I can do. <laughs> Forgot about the fate powers for a second. The Inquisitor as a mage says John never changed. I kind of forgot Bob's about... Bob's says, holy crap, John listened to Claire. <laughs> oh yeah, fate powers. That's a thing I've got. Oh wait, I think I came out the wrong road. I went, I turned over the wrong road. Oh well, well there's there's the one. Okay, and now no. Okay, I just need to re recross the bridge, then take a left, and then that'll get me to where I needed to go. Okay, that fight was fun though. That was pretty flipping frenetic. Uh, right, and also Athena. I don't remember what you want to do. So hang on, I think to it's cross the bridge, isn't it? No, not cross that bridge. Cross the bridge next over. Yeah, it's this one. Then take a left, and then uh, go over the bridge, and then, yeah, cross over the next bridge. Then we... Well, hello. You've got a cutscene. Hi. Who are you? are you? Are you important? You're not... You're not the one I was after. Why are you... You're not even... You're not, you're not even the right troll. Just piss off. I, I don't care. I, I'm not involved in it. No, no. No, I don't care if you've got an introductory cutscene. You're not the troll I want to take out. You're the wrong. You're the wrong troll. This is the troll. Why am I? Why would I bother fighting the wrong troll? Dear oh flipping dear. Well, that's just ridiculous. Uh, right, you, my friend. Uh, yes, I just need to get a little bit of damage on you and go out. Bloody hell! I think I got like ten back. No. And then round the back. Get some poison. There we go. He's definitely got the poison on him. And then get out the way. And fall back on. Actually, I don't want to be on the bridge. Be on the bridge. Bad call. And make, make sure the poison is. Are the cameras. The camera sometimes gets a little bit unhelpful when you're. Uh, yeah, when you're actually. No! <sighs> when you're in a confined space. And. Ow, dick. Okay, and. Go! That's, yeah, when it, when there's confined spaces in the way, the camera can be a little bit unhelpful. And I'm not sure what causes, I think it might, maybe it's a stagger or chance to stun. That causes trolls to sometimes just be like, nah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go down for a bit. And, ow! Put 
Uh, you know what? Screw it. Just go. And down he goes. And let's see. Oh, he's um, floating in midair, so. More ideas for the... Uh, more comments <laughs> on the half a million special. Ali says, uh, not going to lie, I would totally accept a two-minute uh, video of Tabby as a 500k special. Lol. And uh, Axel Fact says, uh, just a Tabby live stream. Webcam on Tabby, napping for three hours while you guys take a well-earned break. <laughs> Lol. What's a break? Mm-hmm. I mean, he, <laughs> Axel Fax said day off and I said break. You know, because a day is a bit too much. <laughs> um, somebody wanted me to... Yes, in Split Rock Depths, find someone's journal. Well, I'm literally standing next to it. I'm literally at this place right now. So I'm going to go and I'm just going to handle that while I'm literally standing here. Uh, this was a gnome who was doing like a mining expedition or something. Let's check if this place isn't too... That's not too big. That's not too big at all. And if we're lucky, maybe there's a secret door. Because I can detect secret doors. I kind of want to detect a secret door. So I kind of want to go into dungeons to detect, you know, secret doors. It's kind yeah. of... It, it, it's emotionally important to me that we uh. find a secret door. Yeah, and I just wanted to say uh, welcome to Barry Allen, new channel member. Thank you very much for joining. Hello, Barry. Uh, Probably not your actual name, as that's the um, one of the aliases of the Flash. Uh huh. And uh, also uh, Bob Space in chat uh, says, John, you can read uh, you can read skill books and gain the skill point without actually stealing or grabbing it. It's good to know in this is considered theft, and there is a crowd nearby, or you don't have the carry capacity for it. Makes sense. Yeah. And then uh, I got some health back, then immediately lost it to this guy. And yeah, the camera is in narrow corridors can be a little bit in the way, unfortunately. The cat, the cat, the camera, the camera can just occasionally be like, up, oh, up. Oh, I don't know what you want me to look at. Oh, I found a skeleton. Uh, crude daggers, uh, not even close to what I've got right now. So don't bother. I'll just take the money and leave them. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to run out of carry space in no time whatsoever. Also, this wasn't where I wanted to come. This place is a bit of a maze. So use the flipping map, John. Use the flipping map. Clap. Um. Mm -mm. Uh. <laughs> the, the the half a million special should be a reveal of both yours and John's setups. Oh, bad Sanky call. Gaming. Oh dear, no. Oh yeah, no. I think uh, I think many things would scare you. Uh, dear, oh dear. Um. <laughs> About here. Is that about? Ooh, no, it's more this way. It's more up here. Is that it? Got it. Right, and. Ooh, Champions Fey Blades. That is. Okay, 2313 plus bonus damage versus Nishikaru, which I thought were very niche enemies, but. I mean, technically, they're exactly the same as what I've got, but they have a bonus effect, so. That's the reason why not, to be honest. Uh, that is just a lightning damage thing. Knight's Medallion is... It's a lot more health. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take that. I'm going to... The health regen was really low. 15 base health is superior. So we're going for that, and I'll leave the staff. Uh, so okay, that's... I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So we just go down over here. Then I need to loop around to the... Loop around to the left to get down to the... Uh, there was a, a special chest thing. I saw down over uh -huh. in this direction. If I take, yes, a left here. Clap. Uh, Thomas Richter gave us two Brazilian reais and says the uh, 500k special <laughs> could be John all excited telling Tabby all about it and she's looking at the camera very unimpressed. So Lol. it's just Tabby showing and then you talk about how excited you are for half a million. Aww. Uh, that sounds very cute. Half a million is important because it's, it's the it's the smallest number you can ex you can express as a fraction of a million without sounding pathetic and desperate. Yeah, if you say I'm a quarter of a million subscribers, exactly, or it a third sound, of a million, that just yeah. doesn't sound as impressive as the actual number. It exactly. Sounds like a reach. Exactly. It sounds like you're slightly sad and desperate. Whereas if you actually uh, if you've got half a million, well that's that's fine. That's legit. No one's going to argue with half a million as a number. So that's all A-OK. -okay. And then just knock you guys back. And then that's a... Ah, wasn't quite in range, actually. A lot of people are suggesting cooking specials, but that's an anniversary that's, special. No, Not that's an anniversary special. special. No, 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 no. Mm. That's a... Spe that's, that's, a that's, uh, that, that's a distinct special thing. Mm. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, mm -mm. Jake gave us five pounds and says, Hey, John and Claire, I just wanted to say a big thank you for all the hard work that you put in through the year for us. Have you ever played Path of Exile? I don't think I have, no. I'm pretty sure that is a no right there. Uh, yeah, and Kristen gave us uh, $20, and uh, there was a little sticker uh, of a pair saying, thank you for being you. Oh, With that's little cute. heart eyes. It was very cute. I, do enjoy, I don't know why YouTube made the decision. You know what? We're going to create a series of pair-themed animated emojis. For, for, as I'd, I'd call them stickers. I don't know why they did this, but they did. Mm -hmm. That's that's just where we are. Uh, and that's... Oh, it's just... It's these guys. It's the werewolves. Oh, so Roderick Quincy forms on the bottom of the Magnificent Hiking Australia. Says for the uh, half a mil special. It should be database related given the recent Excel Lol. on Twitter. I think that's... I think that works better as a special one-off where it was just a one-off and then we never visited again. I think some things are special and they work better if it's just the ones. I, I, I don't like to repeat myself for the most part. I like something that's special to just be as it is. John painting Tabby. I hope you mean a picture of Tabby and not on the cat because, you know, mm -hmm. that's not okay. Uh, 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 ooh, uh, Anthony says maybe a live stream of the two of us feeding Tabby fishy cubs. <laughs> Amazing. Good old fishy cubs. Mm -hmm. Fruit silk robes. I don't know if that. I mean, the, the protection on that's pretty good, but that's mana regen rather than base mana, which I'd rather have. So that doesn't quite, quite stack up for me. But I think I need to go right here and retrace my steps just a tiny bit because I need to get. Uh, there's one more. Random How not to use thing. Excel. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Um, but he doesn't need to do that. The UK government has already done that video, so it's fine. And then put that oh, on both of you. God. And then, fuck, excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me. And then, flames. Uh, it's, it's better than nothing, isn't it? I mean, you know, when you can get burn damage and bleed damage and poison, it does start stacking. It does start stacking very fast. He's sort of ignoring his friend. Excuse me, just get behind you, and then you over there, you over there, job done, and uh, where was the, where was the thing by the way, was it right here? It was right here, uh, crude azurite, that is 23, exactly the same, but without the benefit, and that's silk robes again, uh, which is fine. I'm not sure it tells you the, the value, but I'm guessing if it's like, um, if it's just white, I'm going to assume it's basic, so it's not really that interesting. Uh, and I'll just use a basic potion right there, just because to get myself good. I think I've, yeah, I've actually given up my health regen, so I need to choose that, so I'm a little bit low. But uh, my vampire ring is really reduced, is, is really giving me a bit more staying power, uh, so that's really cool. I'm really enjoying that. Oh, blimey, this is, everything's suddenly gone a little bit on the, the red side. I'm gonna take out you guys. Hi up there. Uh, can we just, yeah, we can just do a bunch of damage to, to you. You're gonna try and hunt me down, are you? Yeah, good luck with that, because you're already all basically dead. Uh, right, so they're going to run around over here. Okay, just let them line up, let them line up. Just wait for them to come to me, wait for them to come to me, wait for them to come to me. Back off, back off, back off, and now... Go! Oh, they only hit one! Okay, it's not like, it's not air of a fate, it's a spray. It's a spray, which is kind of... Oh, but it's got splash on it too! Okay, so the execution has splash, and there's, uh, there's all of that. And you know what? I think it's time for... They're not dead yet. I'm going to take the... I'm going to activate fate mode. Ooh. I know! Yeah, I fancy. Uh, because... uh, that's not what I meant, but sure. Uh, okay, uh, item color coding is from most basic to most rare. White, green, blue, purple. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty standard. Sex. Yeah, it's pretty sta Yeah, that's pretty uh... standard. And I'm just going to get all of you right now, because <laughs> I'm just going to get both sex <laughs> paid. They are... And... Hey, John. Yeah? They are billions with 500,000 subscribers trying to murder you. <laughs> nice. No. Uh, Jinx says a public, uh, sort of patron cast with, uh, q and a from, like, actually everybody, not just the patrons. That would take way too long to, or a live stream making a new channel trailer. Oh no, that would take so long. <laughs> that would take so long. Mm. Why are those Knight's Daggers so bad? Well, I guess they come with health. I mean, plus 30 health is nice, but I, I'm not turning down, like, 10 damage per swing for 30 health. So that's... I'll, I'll just sell them. Uh, I'll sell them, but I'm going to leave the rest of it. 
dear, oh dear. That's, I mean, that's kind of interesting, like, but that's, that's 10 damage per swing on a rapid swing weapon. That's, that's too much for me to give up. Is there going to be a boss in here, by the way? Because I feel like this is, Ooh, you've been eating people, that's nice. Uh, right. Is it nice? Is it what we would say? Ooh, okay, we got claws, so that's 14, 14. Bonus ice damage, bonus gold drops, nine ice damage, and four freezing damage over five seconds. I mean, it's more piercing damage. So, I'm losing a bit of damage. But it does come with plus nine to... Yeah, you know what? I'll give him a go. I'll give that a go. Why not? I will give that a go. I'll take that. I'll take the journal. Uh, which is fine. And you've also got a mysterious glow. Oh, hang on. There's also a mysterious thing over here. Pick up a tattered journal. And uh, Keska betrayed me. Was Keska the guy who gave me the quest? The problem with too many quests is I can't remember who gave me the quest. Keska betrayed me, thought the girl wanted that foolish cult destroyed. Turns out she was just bait. Why could I ever resist a pretty pair of legs? Don't ask me. I'm chasing after my evil elf girlfriend right now. So it's fine. Um, I'm going to take that. I, I, I don't know if that proves the guy I'm working for betrayed his friends. Something, something, something. Very unclear on that fact. It might do. Do do? Oh, hello! Sorry! You said- Oh! It's- 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 it's one of you! It's- it's a succubus, but like, with- with not enough legs. Uh, okay. Uh, right, let's get some- a bit of damage on you. Right, you might be the boss, by the way, and- no you don't. And just, actually, you know, get right up in your face. Let's get some poison on you. Oh, you're going down, no problem. And poison and ice as well. Yeah, this is- this is lovely. Yeah? Well, you- you went down nice and easy. Okay, that's part of a set, uh, but that's a might set, so we're just going to trash that straight away. Signet of uh, Conservation. That is a uh, bleeding res- Oh, definitely not. I'll take the money, though. Right, were you the- I think you might have been the boss of the area. Not sure. Right, looks like I'm just uh, running out of here in that case. So, Claire, all yours wanted to make my way back out. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Oh, there's more silly suggestions. I'll get to them. Okay. Excellent. Uh, shout out to Puncher Joe who gave us five dollars uh, and says, "John, you should never do that husky voice again." <laughs> uh, and Dragon I'm Trapper. I'm sexy, who... John. Are you though? Yes, I am. Um... Yes, I am. I'm always sexy, John. Claire. You know that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm hearing some John. Damn straight. <laughs> Uh, I already uh, checked you out. Yes, I did. Wait, cool. sorry. And Dragon Trapper also gave us five dollars and says, "Good job breaking the universe again." Sorry, my bad. Uh, just uh, just a little clarification from Cam, who gave us another five uh, pounds, and says, "I am quite happy to be responsible for delays delays to Fallout for Yolo." Mwahahaha. Lol. Yeah, there was evil laughter in there. Always approve a bit of evil laughter. Yeah, unlike Tabby. Uh, Tabby doesn't like my Tabby's evil laugh. Really she gets scared. Of John's she gets evil scared, laughter. so yeah, I can't yeah. do it when she's around, otherwise, mm -hmm. she gets scared. Yeah. She thinks it's scary. Tabby's a bit of a wuss. She finds evil laughter too scary. She finds it too spooky. She finds many things too spooky. It's true. And many things quite challenging because she's quite dumb. Um, yeah. Just the other day, you got really excited because you thought she'd figured out how to open the door with her paw after five years, and it turned out it was just a draft. Okay, well, you don't need to tell them that. You don't need to tell them I keep N64 magazines in the bathroom, but here we are. Everybody has to keep good reading material in the toilet. That makes sense. It's, well, I mean... <laughs> anyway. Um... Yeah, and uh, just a reminder from Michael, who gave us $5, that uh, you have plenty of shards for gems, so don't forget that you could uh, deal with your mana problems when you have them using those. But I think I'd need um, items with slots, which I don't mm. currently have. That would be the problem. Right, I've got your journal, but I'm not sure whether, like, I also found a journal proving you betrayed your friends. I, I honestly am not sure. Thrusters wasn't too difficult to obtain. Uh, I had to kill a few Horace? stuff, but it's fine. Yeah, he was definitely dead. He's definitely dead. A shame that. Thank you for being brave enough to retrieve this, in spite of what happened to Horace. As we agreed, here is some gold for your trouble. Stay out of my bubble! Get the Appreciate fuck out of my bubble! Damn straight! Well, he gave me a giant pile of. Gave me a giant pile of gold. I'm not gonna. It's not gonna challenge him on his potentially murdered friend. Somebody betrayed his friend, but I don't know who. 
It's fine. I'm sure it's all under control. Uh, right. Have I finished the... I think I've got one more, don't I? The... Do I have one more troll that needs to be taken out? That's you. Or do I need to just turn that in at this point? It looks like I just need to... Oh, no, the, no, no, they're all dead. I just need to return to him. Uh, so he's closest to the battle library. So I'm just going to fast travel there and go and turn that in with him. So uh, he better pay me well for this because I literally just did his job for him. All right. He wanted the trolls killed. I got his brother's stuff back and killed all the trolls. So I expect payment, damn it. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed, from uh, Maxwell, who gave us $5. I finally caught a live stream after years. It's one of my favorite games. Please use this money for kitten treats. Oh, fishy cubs. Fishy cubs. Right, you my friend, I've done your job for you, got your brother's stuff back and you were cocking hopeless. And? Well done, brother. Well done indeed. I know in time the trolls will return, but at least now I can make it back to shield ring keep with my head held high. Well, giant yeah, pile of XP this. won't say no. It was Jewelry's sword hilt. Broken now, but... She might be mighty again if a skilled smith wanted to make her so. It's what jewellery would have wanted. I'm sure you'll put it to good use. I'm going to be honest, I won't, because I'm not actually, um, I'm not a sword user. I'm just going to sell this for trash money, but all right, fine, whatever. Uh, okay, well, at least it's got to be a giant pile of XP. That was a load of XP. Uh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm supposed to be, yes, I'm supposed to be going to Niralim. Next. Oh, wait. Hang on. No. No, I'm not. Two Knights in a Trot. I'm supposed to be tracking down the something, something, something. Uh, which is, yes. Uh, take the second bridge and I should be pretty much there. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, wait a second. I was, uh, I was just sorting through pictures of kittens and puppies. Sorry. Uh, no worries at all. Shout out to Frog Raider who gave us five dollars and says, I love your content. I love uh, your content too. Oh, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, uh, XPML gave us five Australian dollars. And says, hey, John and Claire, your videos inspired me to get into voice acting. Oh, sweet. And last week, I got my first paid gig, so I figured I'll share the love with you. Sweet. Well done. That's amazing. Congratulations. But you do it better than me. I've never done paid for. I've never paid, done paid voice work. So you, you've, Yeah, you've... as you can tell from that sentence just now. Shut up. Oh! Voice artists don't come up with a script on the fly, you scrub. <laughs> Yeah, but I just like making fun of you. Right, come on, camera, behave, 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 and just get around the back of you. Yeah, this little, this little thing's getting a little in the way here, and proper bit of damage, and definitely get out of the way of you. I'm gonna take this opportunity to get some good poison on you. There's some criticals. There's some poison. Get some damage, and I kind of want these little guys out of the way to be honest. But and if I can get some health back, that'd be great too. Just watch for him about to swing. Just a little. Oh. Walk straight to that one, literally. And go. And that's a good chance to get some good stuff in over there. Get out of the way. I really want you guys down. Why are you not dying? Oh, that's ice damage. Oh, ice damage is slowing. Yes, okay. So now I'm I'm slowing my enemies. So I think he's I think he's resistant to ice. And he's resistant to being slowed. And go. That's gonna be him dead. And that's crit for you. Right, now you're on your own. That should be nowhere near as bad as it was. I think he's resistant to quite a few things. Oh no, he's not resistant to... He's not resistant to... Oh, never mind. I thought he was dead, but no, he just uh, got himself a bit stunned there. And go! And then round the back of you. Should have used my flame ability. That would have been a good thing to use at that point, but no. Oh no, he can be slowed. And it, it slows everything. It's, it's the animations too. So actually, that ice on daggers, that ain't bad. I, I will not say no to that. So yeah, you just try and charge me, you stupid idiot. Right, I'll be having that. That's a fiend's wisdom again. Sometimes you drop good stuff. Scholar's long sword is eh, it's only green. We'll just leave it. Right, so there should be something right here. Pick up knight and troll. Okay. Ah, they're literally just scattered around. They're like pages. Mm -hmm. So there was one page there. Uh, I don't care about you. So I'm guessing there's like a, a dungeon around the corner up here. I'll just use a little potion right now. I've got loads of them. I mean, they're super cheap basic potions, which I like. Uh, so I'm guessing the rest of them are all in. Oh, hello! 
Right, uh, there is a special thing over here. Uh, right, let them get close together and go. That was not close enough together, but I'll just explode you anyway. Right, uh, take you down and go, 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 go. Actually, I... You know what I should do? I've not... I I invested in my... Excuse me! Get Everybody get the cock out of Dodge. Uh, I need to take out the champions first. I know they do, like, bonus damage. Go! Stay out of the... Oh, blimey, that one's it's got some homing on it. Get, can we get the boggart out of the way, please? Does, doesn't help. And... Ow! Watch! Heal! Bloody hell, this is... Okay, few of them here. Few of them. They've got homing abilities, which I don't approve of. And go! Get out of the way. But yeah, you've got to, to pick your moment to dodge at the right moment because the angles. Yeah, you're a frost champion. And no. And then there we go. Okay, now I'm understanding it. And no, you don't. No, you don't. Bye. I'm guessing you gave... Because normal sprites don't have that ability. I'm guessing that's because you were close by. So uh, you're close by to the friend that you gained that ability. Right. Watch out for those guys. They're getting a little bit tougher than they were. That was... That was a bit... Not dicey, but it was definitely harder than it was previously. I think I also see a crude zer. No, that's basically what we've already got. I'll take the special lock pick, and that is a might helm, so I'll leave that as it's only your basic white. Uh, it looks like there's actually, before I go in, it looks like there might be. I've not been up here before, right? Uh, I don't think I've been up here before. Wait, have I? Well, it, it, I must have done. Okay, hang on. I'm just going to check whether I've actually covered these two, because there's two chests right here. I'm just going to check whether I've actually got. Hello. It's oh, it's you. It's the guy who we who was bleeding. Yes, this is exactly where I've been before. I know precisely where we are. Oh, that's fine. That case. I didn't realize it was just around the corner from you. Right, back into another dungeon. Give me a hidden door. I took the hidden door ability. I expect a hidden cocking door. So what have we got? Oh, hang on. You're not bad people. Well, maybe you're not. We got people here. Hello. Are you? Are you? Oh, it's 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 other sirs. I am also a sir. Unfortunately, I forget which sir I am. Sorry, I'm not taking my responsibilities very seriously. Hello. Do you want to chat? Yeah? Well, well. You truly fit Hallam's description. It's nice to finally gaze upon the new Sagril. Sagril! I That's me! Hermer. This is my companion, Sir Kreth. Ah. Welcome to Sunder Caverns. If you come in search of the Maid of Windermere, I must disappoint you. She's nowhere to be found. Okay. But yes, uh, the Cairns are actually my first priority. You too. Well, I managed to find one, but there are plenty more. The maid had them. She was here one moment, but gone the next, as is her way. She did leave behind her old ally, Nix the Troll, to give us a bit of trouble and slow our pursuit. Kreth and I have fought Nix more times than I dare count. You could say he's an old friend. If you're interested in joining our little hunting party, feel free. Yep, works for me. So we now got ourselves a couple of uh, friends who are going to help us out. I like having a friend. Would obviously be very useful if I was still using a hammer, because... ooh. Rikers Crow. That's the second part of that set. I've got a bit of that set. Okay. Sorcery 14. We could have ourselves special magic lightning armor. Because that I've got two bits of that set now. Okay. Life is interesting. Hold on to them. Don't junk them at least. So that is all very good. I'll leave a great sword though. Clap. As we're just basically following these guys around doing a bit of murder. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Let's see. And I'm trying to find out where I was, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Justin gave us five Canadian dollars. Good dollars. Uh, and so this is thanks for getting me through the fourth uh, and last bit um, of my uh, now robotic uh, Master of Engineering. Here's to many more years. That's very exciting. Was that, that, that a master of robotic engineering? Or, hang on, what was that? Uh, it says robotics MN, which ah. is what I'm assuming. Like a, uh, like, like a, like a, if you were saying a BA instead of a BSE. I see, yes, 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 yeah, yes, 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 yes. It's robotics, which is very impressive. Very exciting. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations, Justin, on that. Uh, and Axelfac gave us five dollars and says my puppy ham dog is napping by the TV. Would you please tell her she's a good puppy even though she still has accidents in the house? Did you say hound dog? Ham dog. Hound dog. Ham. Ham dog. Oh yes, we've heard from ham dog before. Yes, we of have. course we have. Very good. Right, just did a couple of. Uh, Ooh, ham dog, who's a good girl? Very good girl. 
Seriously, oh, the, ah, there we go. Now I've got yeah, he's both He's going to finish murdering bears and then... No, bears are not so dog. bad. Bears aren't so bad at all. Hand dog. Hand dog. Hand dog. Use your good dog. Very good hand dog. Well, I say as I murder a bear. Yes. Very, very good. We did get pictures of hand dog last time. And yes, I remember that. Super cute. I remember that. Uh, yeah, and let's see. Uh... Ooh, recommendations. Maxwell gave us ten dollars and said if you like this, you'd probably like the original Two Worlds and Risen games. Not the highest rated, but I think they are great. I've had some um, positive things about the Risen franchise before. I've never played any of them. I think they're up to three. There's three of them now. Far Actually, there might be a fourth. I, mi I might have seen Risen Four. I'm trying to remember now. I don't know. Uh, yes, indeed. And do you have any plans for Baldur's Gate? Uh, yes, it's, I want it to return as a bit of a live stream thing because it's very, very cool indeed. Uh, I had really loved the time with that, actually. I really enjoyed that. Uh, that one just really clicked with me. I really enjoyed uh, these. Uh, I really enjoyed all of that nonsense. That was good stuff. Uh, yeah, and then uh, Barry Allen again gave us uh, another $20. Thank you very much. Uh, and says, I've been a fan since the very first video. Which, like, that is something that That's is a long time That almost ago. seems impossible because that was something that was like... You know, we just like, you know, tweet to our friends about it or whatever. That that almost doesn't seem likely. Well, you know, I'm um, not going to call them a liar mm -hmm. over it. Uh, but yeah, Barry says, um, Barry says, uh, I got a broken back oh. and previously a broken femur. That's, uh, I'm sorry, Ouch. that sounds really painful. Yeah. Um, the doctor told me also that I have the leg of a 90 year old. Uh, and I have all three to bone spurs behind my knee. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But on the plus side, when doctors say things like that, it does lead you into some like really good, you know, terrible jokes. Don't, uh, please don't. You know, so it's something to say, oh, you've got the knees of a nice one. You could be just like, oh, well, maybe you'd like them back. ba da ba ba da ba Look, you may as well take the opportunity to always make, to never waste opportunity to make a terrible joke. Right. Yeah. Uh, Very important. Barry also says, Barry also says my back is still broken, but I've got a new job. I only slightly hate uh, my store doesn't think they should wear masks because they scare customers. Oh, that's, so oh dear. That's no um, good at all. But yeah. it sounds like you're, you know, like, you know, you're slowly on the, you know, slowly picking up new bits and pieces. So I, I hopefully, hopefully there's a long term solution for you. Yeah. And, um, and, uh, Barry also says, uh, You've uh, quite literally saved my life because I wanted to know what you're going to do next. Oh, amazing! So, uh, just uh, you know, we hope you we hope you do better. We hope you feel yes. better, and um, and yeah, we hope that your store stops being stupid about masks. Damn straight. Absolutely. Uh, and now you're all nice and close together with that beautiful. Oh. Just want you to know that we've now added never waste an opportunity to make a terrible joke into the bot as a lesson from John. That is an important lesson. Uh -huh. as, as, as I have said, I don't know actually, I don't know where this expression comes from. Mm -hmm. I don't know who said this first, but I, I always like the expression, you have to laugh or you'd cry. I've oh, always, yeah. and I've said that many times. And I don't actually know who said it first, like if, if anyone knows, like, uh, it was like a quote. Like, you know, if it was ever like originally in a film or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But I, I, I use like, I do think I use the expression just just the other night when I was talking to my family about various uh, pandemic stuff. Uh, so I've said that uh, I've said that many times. I always like I always like that expression. I think it's a very true expression. Oh, oh yeah. I, I kind of I, that's that's what I live by. It's it's along with uh, comedy knows justice too from uh, Aristophanes' Zakarians. Mm. Uh, Dicaeopolis says that uh, comedy knows justice. That sometimes the best way to get to the truth of things is to is to laugh at them. Uh, I, I, those, those things, uh, they matter to me. Those, those are things I, uh, I believe. So that's, uh, that's important right there. Mm. Are you any good? You're exactly the same, but with poison resistance instead of armor. So I won't bother with any of that nonsense. That is fine. Clap. Uh, yes. Let's see. Uh, Bob's face in chat says John for a uh, half a mil instead of a video special. How about a live stream special where you try to finish as many unfinished series as you can in one day? Lol. Where are my, where did my friends snap off to? We've got a little, we've got a, another kind of a biggish live stream planned for, uh, you know, It depends sometime. if we've got time. It depends whether, like, we, we, the, we'd like to do like a nice big live, like, you know, just like, maybe like, 
you know, once every few months, a really big live stream. But uh, because we've had all the video essays recently, we'll have to see whether that becomes a thing. Yeah, that may, because oh, sorry, that may or may not be a thing. We'll have to say. What happened is, uh, what happened is, uh, once John did an all-day live stream with me and not on his own, he was like, "Oh yeah, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't. It wasn't. Well, it wasn't. It was. It was better I mean, it's than it tiring, was. But yeah, it's, like, it's, it's not yeah. as tiring as it. Where are my friend? Guys, come back! Guys, guys! There's there's a lot of there's a lot of sprites, guys. There you go. On the plus side, loads of little enemies means I can. Uh, oh, but because there's other, they're not they're not clustering. But at least I get my vampire effect, uh, which is pretty good. So this should be no problem at all. Clap. Uh, yeah. Uh, ooh, a uh, message from Myra who gave us five euros and says, uh, "John, can I hire? Uh, oh, she says, can I uh, can I hire John or you, Claire, to teach my kiddos tomorrow English for twelve year olds and Othello for eighteen year olds?" I, I'd, I'd definitely get Claire to teach English because I believe English doesn't have grammar rules and Claire tells me it does. Yeah, but also, like, I don't... I don't like teenagers. So. <laughs> I mean, like, look... I can't remember how long it's been since I've read a fellow. It's been a hell of a long time. I couldn't even give you a synopsis. It's about racism. Uh-huh. And, okay. Hang on, hang on. Uh, what does blacksmith... And, and also the patriarchy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move blacksmith up towards four. And then gems as components when crafting. That's kind of cool. Uh, but then what does this one do? That is traps. Ooh, but that, I've better run into a single trap so far, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, sagecraft is better shards. Uh, stuff. Stealth. I can do without the stealth, to be honest. I can definitely do without that. You know, I'm just going to keep... I'm going to put a bit more into, into blacksmithing. Let me get that moving in the right direction. And I've got three more points. So, okay. Back over to sorcery. I'm enjoying Mark of the Flame. So, if I keep bringing that up, that's just more and more damage and more and more burning damage. And uh, the cost to execute is going up, but only a bit. So, I'm going to keep... I'm going to pile into that. And actually, hang on. What does this do? Is... Yeah, that was, that was the thing. It was only 1%. So, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to get this up to... What is the actual max? Is? So, 42. And that is... That's maxed out. Okay. So, that is now literally maxed out. Um, now, that, is, that requires 20. So, I'm not really using that anymore, to be honest. Actually, casting cost reduced by 10%. That's worth having. Because that's going to make it much easier for me to keep up with this, even with limited stuff. And now I've got initiate... Yeah, now I've got initiate tier 2. Sweet, because I've got um. Oh, that's a this. Oh, sorry, that's um. That's pure, pure magic. That is piercing damage versus. I think I'd rather have that. You know, I think the mana cost reduction thirteen percent is actually more valuable to me than disciple two. So I'm actually going to take initiate two just for the time being. I'm going to see how I feel about that. We're just going to see how that um how that kind of you know works out in the grand scheme of things. How's my okay? I've still got plenty of inventory space. We're okay in that regard. Right. So we've just got to find the last Ken, and I think we're getting pretty close. Clap! Yeah, I just want to clarify, I don't, like, hate all teenagers and, and all children. That was, like, that was quite an extreme statement to make there, yes. No, I don't like big groups in classroom. Look, it's just... When there's too many of them in a group, they're scary. Shh. That's what is going on with children and teenagers. Mm -hmm. Like, if it's to the level of, like, a, a charming group of nieces and nephews, that's fine. Mm-hmm. And, okay, we've got ourselves a Nyx, but I've been taking out trolls for funsies. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I'm not too worried by this, to be honest. And, uh, oh, he brings in reinforcements. Okay, uh, let's focus on the uh, the champion. Uh, let's get you off the field as best we can. Uh, look, this is a bit of a bit of a mess. My, no, uh, not you. This one, yeah, focus on the champion. I should just be, yeah, just break, break the champion off from the rest of them. And you should be dead before reinforcements arrive, which is going to unpower these lads. And then we'll just take out the little sprites. I don't know whether Nyx can just, like, keep spawning new guys in. And watch my health, by the way. Uh, so maybe just one potion. Yeah, I saw you about to do that. I, saw I thought you would have lost... Okay, they've still got the ability to do that, which I'm kind of surprised by, because I killed the Storm Master. I thought they lost that ability when the spawn, the spawn master, the storm master went down, but maybe not. And if I kill the last one, does he summon more? Uh, is that a thing he can do? And excuse me, you did you just get bored and stop taking on Nyx there? No. Right, well, guys, let's let's get some poison on him. There we go. He's now taking the poison damage, which is pretty valuable. I need to set my abilities. 
Because I'm literally... Oh, he's... He's down the ground. And no, he's not. Keep going. Oh, he's, he's, he's nothing. He's actually not any tougher than any of the other trolls we face. By the, maybe a tiny bit, but really not much. Uh, so we've got the poison on him. He's down. Oh, he's down the ground. Yeah, good chance to get some more poison. He's pretty boned, to be honest. And I think these guys are literally, you know, immortal. So, you know, that, that helps too. So we'll just put a bit of that on you. A bit of that on you. And no, you don't. Goodbye, and one more. Now just get in there. Job done. Pick up your boots and move, yo, somebody. Do you want it on your body chance? Oh, sorry, I, I, want, I didn't mean to speak to you. I, I, I just want to loot this guy. Ravager's great sword, giant pile of money. There's knights and the troll. Don't need the great sword. And job flipping done. So that's nice. And uh, yeah, that's all absolutely lovely. Though, yes, plots, uh, stories are going off the rails. So same as we've heard before. So you're going back to the House of Ballads. You're very welcome. No problem. Goodbye. Right. Do we have any other stuff we need to buy the way? You're just going back the you're going back the way we came to. Guys, there's a Skyrim ledge like right here. Do you know what the never mind, I'm just gonna take the Skyrim ledge. That's way faster. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. So, okay. What's the next step of that uh quest, by the way? So find the last can, recover the can, speak to Oh, I need to I need to uh return to uh what's her face at this point. So this should bring me hopefully right next to the door, so we can just travel straight there. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see, Brian. Uh, Brian gave us 10 euros and says it's great to see more of this. Uh, love this game. On an unrelated note, I'm setting up a server for Minecraft and it's a lot more difficult than you might think. I, I would assume setting up a server was difficult. I'd go in expecting that. Uh-huh. Uh, thank you for the years of entertainment and here is to many, many more. Oh, excellent. Uh, yes, indeed. I'm just going to junk them. We can junk you. That is... Then again, I'm not getting too far off Sorcery 18, to be honest. We'll keep that. Uh, right, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Where's my... Yeah, it's you over there. So I can literally fast travel back to you. Right, so hang on. I've got the books, but can I actually release you from your social distance bubble? Like, is that a thing we can do? Hello? Excellent. But you've returned without the most important cairn of all. Troubling. But this is a challenge for later. For now, you must break this cursed spell. As you've no doubt noticed, those cairns are warded and will not reveal their secrets. They will, however, last an eternity. Perhaps even longer. Okay, so how do we, like, get you out of the social distance bubble? Those cairns are like lore stones, but special. They're enchanted, and the only way to unlock their contents is to use the Echo Stone. The one in the next room is one of Hallam's early attempts, but it should work. Go listen to two knights and a troll. Find the words that will free me from this prison. Okay, go listen to a story. No problem. And there is apparently a... Ah! Yes, these things. The stones with holes in them. There was one at the House of Ballads. I remember these. May the stone sing your song to the ages. May the breath of time remember you. Listen. Listen as the Echo Stone etches each ballad in memory. Okay, skip to the bit where we get someone out of a bubble. If you, oh bloody hell! Right, I'm just gonna get to the. Let's skip to the bit where someone comes out of a bubble, the please. The story of two valiant souls I bring. Of the yeah, where Lord there's bubble. I need, I need someone out of a bubble. Yep, they, uh, two people. Stop the troll. Know about that? That's fine. Uh, troll, he's already dead. Uh, not a problem. To be honest. Oh, I've heard about this. Yes, this is the troll who was tricked into thinking he was a human. I remember. I've, I've literally, I've literally heard this out in the wild. This is a story. And yes, as a result, um... They it, it walked into town thinking it was a human, but it wasn't. I've literally heard this out there in the world already. So that's nice. Uh, but how did the story end? Rampage through the countryside of joy. Fine. Human dealers such faces. Jewelers. Okay, where's the... Where's the get the get, get out of a bubble? There is... There's, there's no... There's, there's no bubble. There's no bubble in this story. What was? Hello. No one was in a bubble in this story. Did you discover the words to the counter spell? No, no one was in a bubble in that spell. Um, you are a human now. Apparently, you just killed her. What? 
Mm -hmm. I, I did. I did just. I, I did kill next. That's true. Um, Judas, reveal your true state. Well, that didn't make. That didn't reveal anything. I mean, you are a human now. Go revealed when well, it was a fake reveal. That's it. That's it. Ah, good. Hear me and don't forget a word. What Hallam feared is coming to pass. Somehow, using a new and twisted magic, the Maid of Windermere hopes to alter the telling. At this moment, she possesses the single most important song in our canon, the Hero and the Maid. If its story changes, we are all at risk. You must warn the House of Ballads. Time is running out for all of us. Okay, but what does it actually matter if a story changes, FYI? Go find Wenson and Hallam. It may already be too late. Alright, we'll, we'll go and have a chat to them. But yeah, we need to go and find the king. So, right. Uh, the king is... Is he in Isa? Because we were looking for a way to get in there anyway, to be honest. So that's um, uh, that's kind of fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, hang on, there's no... Oh no, Wenson was... He was the guy back at the House of Ballads. Sorry, I thought he was over at Isa. But no, 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 no. Okay, hang on. There's, there's a tree down over here. So we could go and speak to you, but I kind of want to go and speak to this, whatever the Nerofim creature is. So, if I go here, yeah, I'm going to go to Sundar Caverns. That should bring me close by to that area anyway. So then if I just go, yeah, around this way, if I just go south a bit, then round here, then that should bring me in the right direction to, yes, meet Nerofim. I'll just go meet Nerofim tonight. How are you doing, by the way, Claire? Yeah, we're uh, pretty... Yeah, we're all caught. Excellent. Well, I want to go and meet Nirolim as a start. Mm -hmm. I want to go and meet Nirolim at least. So, hang on. I need to go... Did you say as a start? I meant as an as end. As, I meant mm. as an end. I meant as an end. We're starting to move towards wrapping up. Okay, here's um, here's an incentive for you. Yes. If we don't finish too, too late... Yes. I could make the burgers tonight. <gasps> Ooh, burgers. I know. That's pretty good. I know. It's pretty, it's pretty good offer. Pretty good offer. Uh, right, so we take a, we fo I think we're just following this. Can I just follow this road, by the way? Yeah, I think we're just following this road. So this is nice. I'm just follow this road. I don't think I've been down here before. This is looks like a narrow passage that leads things. So if somebody's going to pop up out of nowhere and attack me, because the game, like, you know, does that sort of thing, just to make sure you don't accidentally bull rush your way too far forward. Uh, there's also just a random quest giver. I shan't say... Oh, well, I'll say hi while I'm passing by. Oh, my he's literally going to force me to stop. Is Star Camp being visited by a goddess? Are they all as beautiful as you? Maybe I should slap on a habit and join the mission down the road. You're in Star Camp, home of the Traveler's Dove. Now, I don't suppose you came here by accident. Ask Dove, ask to join our number. Okay, um, who are you guys? Because you had a flag, that means you're a proper faction. Well, I've seen fist-sized rubies, living people made of vines, and I've even seen a Jotun cry. But this is a first. Why join? The travellers are renowned rogues, thieves, and all-around good folk. If you live in the shadows, away from the law, we're for you. Rogues, you say? We'll help you take them. You want fame? They'll sing songs of you forever. Want adventure? Look no further. You had me at rogue, to be honest. I thought by the look of you that you might. I have a good feeling about you. But some feelings count less around here than they should. I'll send you to the camp's leader, Krill Garin. She'll get you on your way. Okay, so we might be able to join the rogues, though. This, 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 yes, this is, well, they're called the Travellers. They're, they're literally, clearly based on Traveller communities. So, okay, that's a thing. Uh, let's go into their town right now. I've actually activated that on the, the map, by the way. Uh, no. If I go in here, can I activate that as a fast travel point? Because I'd like to be able to get back here later. I don't want to deal with this right now. Uh, unless you've got a shop. If you've got a shop, I'll sell my stuff. Glad. Oh, you do have a proper shop. Excellent. Uh, okay. Yeah, they've got daggers. This is clearly, uh, exactly, uh, exactly where I need to be. So, okay, there's... It looks like the shop was right there, but where's the... Where's the shopkeep? Shopkeeper, I need I, I need to do some some buying and selling. Is it is it you? Is it are you that? Yes, you're the trader. Boom! You're precisely what I needed to say. Right, uh, do some shopping. Sell all junk. Thirteen thousand gold, and you have got okay longbow, which is eighteen eight. Uh, together with uh, 
Uh, that's kind of trash, to be honest, so I've already got that on that. Venomous Fate Blades is actually pretty good. That's actually... Then again, I've already got Poison, so actually the last... Yeah, I should avoid Venomous Blades, because the last thing I want to do is put 13 damage when I could be putting 60 or 70 or whatever my ability does, so that's that's a no-no. That's, that's a no for me. Those are just basics. Though they do have a weapon slot and a utility slot. I mean, that's kind of interesting. Uh, Fade Blades of Luck is 3% chance to crit. Uh, but that's a lot of... That's a lot of damage to give up, to be honest. And decaying is, I'm guessing, yeah, that's poison as well. Uh, the bow, meanwhile, is garbage. It's much worse. Yes, this is kind of trash. Uh, next to what I've already got, to be honest. The armor's not terrible. Uh, that's not... It's not bad. So, physical damage, critical hit damage, lightning resistance is sort of okay. I've been kind of using that same set. You know what? That's cheap. I'll buy that. It's not bad. Uh, and just check the accessories. So, uh, yeah, that's just regen, which is... It's okay. Actually, you know what? 0.5 health regen per second and mana regen. No, the regen I, I didn't really like. I've got po potions are so cheap, it's not necessary. Potions are just so cheap. And speaking of which, I will gladly take any potions you've uh, you've got, by the way. What are these, by the way? What is this? Peak sensitive goods before purchase. Is this? Ah, this will be crafting for alchemy, I'm guessing. Right. Uh, so... Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll just leave that in that case. Uh, so skip that. Goodbye, inventory, armor. I will put that on because it's basically the same. But actually, in terms of armor, it's a tiny bit worse. But it does come with physical damage. Which I assume means... Like, plus seven to damage threshold or something? Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it anyway. We'll keep all of that. No trouble whatsoever. Sorcerer is still not 18, but at least we've cleared out some inventory. We did need that. Now, is one of you, um, a trainer, by the way? Is that, that's the, is this the trainer symbol? Hello? Are you, and you are a, ah, you're a sneak trainer. How much? So, plus one stealth for 15,000. You know what? I'll do it. Step yep, there silence. we go. So she's going to give me all of that. Not bad. In fact, there's another one too. Okay, so that's positive. And there's another trainer over... Up on the high ground, is it? Looks like she's up on the high ground. Okay, this is exciting. Multiple trainers in one location. Someone up here is... Is it you? Need an answer or a rumor. And now, hang on. No, you're a, no, you are a trainer. Like so a that is... Mercantile. I mean, that's probably going to save me money in the long run. Done it. Yeah, Hit done. Boom. So I'll take both of them silent. straight away. And, kind of but notice, there is a secret thing uh, somewhere up here. Where's the secret thing? And one white flake. Not exactly Hello, much, but it'll do. Okay, I'll gladly take all of this. We'll maybe come back to this place later. Can I now fast travel here? Yes, I can. I've now got a fast travel point. So we're not going to bother starting the Thieves Guild quest already, though. Um, no. I maybe... No, no, no. I'm not saying I'm about to start it. What I'm about to say is I'm about maybe... 55% uncomfortable that this faction is ve is called the Travellers and is clearly oh, yeah, based no, on robot. the Traveller really community. And they yeah, literally yeah, identify themselves yeah. as we are the rogues and thieves and like to, and we'd like to teach you about roguery and thievery. It's like, oh yeah, no, it's quite I'm, bad. I'm a little bit no, not... It's, it's quite bad. I'm not 100%. Yeah, yeah, no, it's bad. It's yeah. real bad. Yeah, let's just, let's, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. let's just leave the problematic mm -hmm. representation town. Away from problematic representation town. So long. Mara and chat was just saying, uh, was just making a lot of uh, grima grimacing emoji face. Emoji face? Can I can't even talk anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, oh dear. It's a slightly not not great representation of the traveller community there. Uh, oh dear. And I'll help myself to some more free stuff in a log, because there's so much free stuff in a log. Uh, ooh, you <clears throat> Actually, no, I can't turn off the hearty rings. I need the mana to activate my fire spell. So I'll, yeah. I'll take it to sell. I'll take it to sell. I'll take it to sell. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, people agreeing with you in chat. Yes. <clears throat> and it looks like there might be a town up ahead, actually. Or something. 
some form of very big mansion, if not a town, and you are a plague bearer, which I'm guessing means you're going to be immune to... Oi! Naff off. I'm guessing you're going to be immune to poison, which is very unfortunate. And no, no you don't. No you don't. Flipping bastard! And just line you up, line you up, line you up. Actually, you know what? You're going to be uh, plenty, aren't you? No, line them up, line them up, line them up. I think it's... Uh, and go! There you go! Fire. They've got it. Yeah, they were weak to fire. Boom. Love it. Okay, get around the back, steal their stuff, keep on uh, keeping on. So, the g yeah, how old is this game? Uh, I don't know, well, this is a remake, so the original was, I think it might have been 2012. Mm. It's not ancient. You know, it, it's probably more recent that they probably shouldn't have quite so explicitly done that thing that they did. Oh, I tell you what, that longbow's solid. I mean, I lose the bleed damage, but I get bonus critical hit damage and plus one to finesse ability. What, all finesse abilities? Literally all of them? What? Seriously? That's... Hang a flip on. It, it, it's... Really? Do I just get plus one to, like, all finesse? Or is it just... Holy flip, I do! What? That's cocking insane! Okay, that's, well, we're keeping you. Uh, if, wait, chat, if I was already at maxed out, is there like a bonus non-existent extra max beyond that? that you can only access by doing that, because that's, that's kind of fun. I mean, okay, that's, that's lovely. Right, well, I appreciate that. That's very nice. Okay, so I need to, where's this place, by the way? This, this isn't a town, this is just a lodge. Okay, so just a uh, inn for travellers. Nothing dramatic. I think we want to be going... Uh, yeah, we want to be turning south. This path should lead us in the right direction. So I want to go meet whatever Niralim or whatever its name was is. Alright. How are you doing, Claire? Uh, yeah, I think we've got one more messages. Excellent. Uh, messages. One more message from Dr. Hedgeball who gave us two pounds uh, and wants to know if you're planning on playing Medieval Dynasty. Uh, I do not know anything about it, so probably not right at this second anyway. Oh, I didn't get... Oh, I think it's because I, I don't know if I've actually taken the special you need to ass you need to assassinate. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure I've taken the one point I need to do assassination. <laughs> Uh, so I think I, I couldn't do an assassination because I literally haven't taken the the one thing I needed. So that's kind of unfortunate. But not close enough, Dom. May as well. Oh no, still caught you in the splash at least. I wonder if they can splash like whether you can splash multiple backwards and forwards. Like if three people close together are detonated, each of them does the splash to the next. That'd be kind of fun if that was a thing. Okay, we're definitely in a magic forest now. I mean, we were already in a magic forest, but it feels even magicaler. At this point, it's feeling very magical. This is the right way to go. Right, straight across here, but I can't fight in the water. So, just head in the right direction. There is a bunch of sprites over there, which is a little bit concerning. And that's... Oh, that's doing so much damage. So much damage. And you're going down. You're going down. I need to go for the, the storm one, really. And, yeah, it's you. And it's you. And it's you. And it's you. And... There's resistance to that. I don't... Oh, blimey. Heck, okay, just, just chill out. Chill... Chill the... Oi! Dick. Uh, okay, watch out for them. That When they start doing that thing, that they're, they're a little bit trickier. But luck, I should be able to finish you off pretty fast. Yeah, you're down. Now you're on your own. It shouldn't be a problem. Clap! Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're caught up. All caught point. up? Ah! Come on, you dick. Stop doing your little dodge that gets you out of the way, my thing. Still, at least I'm ready with fate points whenever. Got four fake points ready to go. I'll take green stuff because I may as well. That's going to be garbage, surely. 22. Oh, it's a might shield. Leave it. A white might shield I can do without. Uh, okay. So in which case, something around here is where I need to go. So, okay. There's, ooh, there's those owl creatures. <gasps> is it going to be the king of the owls? Claire, I think we might be going into owl city. Burgers! There's a lot. Okay, we just need to go and see the King of the Owls. Hey, John. Yes. You know how I've got to start work early tomorrow so that I can get the edit of the audio of the video as I finish so that you can work on it? 
in time. That's after fine. You get up. But yeah, Nirlim's been waiting for us. Claire, the king of the elves, is waiting for us. Claire, the king of the elves, is waiting. waiting. I'm gonna okay. We're not. I'm not speaking to anyone on the way. I'm running straight to the king of the owls. 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 Run straight past everyone. Don't talk to it. Don't give me any quests. I don't care about you, stupid speaking stone. Not. I'm not doing it. Is it the great Deku tree? Is it just the great Deku tree? I want it to be the king of the owls, but I'm worried it might just be the great Deku tree. I think it's the great Deku tree. Which is kind of disappointing because I was really excited it might be the King of the Owls. Curiosity. Oh yeah, it's the it's the Great Deku Tree. Boo, boo! I want to talk to a giant owl. That's way better. It's just the dumb Great Deku Tree. Hello, Great Deku Tree. Yeah. Ooh, it's an evil sour eye in the middle of the Great Deku Tree. Actually. Hello. The curious one seeks a way to the Fey, but it has found its way to the boughs of the World Tree. Instead, rest, Quickling, and I may study you. Oh, it's the world tree. All right. Hi. So, uh, yeah, what are you? Look around you, and I am all that you can see. Okay, you're the world I tree. Got it. Yeah, fine. That's that. Yeah, that's fine. I'm sorry I asked, actually. I, I'm sorry. I'm in a hurry. I, I, we, there's a promise of dark. burgers. There might be burgers if we speed this up a bit. This, my roots spread wide and deep. You just and said I that. Of the time of the Fey is passing. I must shelter them in their twilight and protect them from the corruption that spreads in their kin to the east. Is that where the Tuatha are? Or whatever they were called. Yeah, I might be able to help them, but I've also got a codex for the High King. I know your needs. But the predators circle Issa in her nest, and I cannot allow another to enter. Unless you do this quest for me? Certain, buried beneath Prismere blades. I can only hold back the tide. But you, perhaps you can change the currents. Oh, I'm the chosen one, sweet. Where you tread, you mark all you touch. Before I would help you, I must know. Will you be a kind gardener? Or a careless reaper? I've been murdering a lot of shit so far, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, but what do you need me to pr do to prove it? Like all quicklings, you are eager to act. I would rather see the method of your action. A tribe of trolls has been corrupted with Prismere. Their matriarch, Nash, has united the clans in the first step on the path of Dalantarth's demise. You can change this fate, but to what? In doing so, you may awaken a more dangerous threat, like your ally, Aelin Shear. She's not my ally, she's my girlfriend. Alright. And yeah, she's not really a threat, but tell me what you know. She walks a dark and tangled path. Oh, I might be dark and tangled path with her. You once walked together before you died. Ooh! Apparently she's my ex-girlfriend too, before but I died. Your path is your That's fun. Now. Defeat Nash. Remove the taint of Prismere. Then I shall see who you are. If not, who you will become. Okay, try and not murder. Try and resolve without murder. Got it. And her and yeah, we now know a location. So we now have the thing we need to do in order to get into Isa. Which I'm guessing is... Ooh, the map's got little plenty things on it. That's fun. Uh, so you want me to go over to... Oh, that's close by to where we've already been. Fun. So we can easily fast travel back there and we can take care of that during the next live stream. Because... Okay, so we've covered about half of, like, the planes. Uh, and then there's, like, more. And there's more. And then there's bloody hell. Right, this is... We're making progress. We are making progress, at least. Back to the Ballads Library. That brings us close by. But we're not going to go and meet Ganache tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Because there's been a promise of burgers. Because <laughs> John really likes my burgers. Claire's really good at making burgers. Like, seriously, you've no idea. Her burgers are so damn good. They're better than, like, any you've ever had in a restaurant. Claire, I mean, it helps that we get really good meat in. When we get burgers, we do get really nice yeah, meat. Yeah, so we don't eat a lot of beef in general. Like, exactly. we eat more, like, chicken and pork and, like, fish and yeah. stuff. Yeah, like, beef is expensive don't... these days. Yeah, and also, like, just what you were saying about it as well. Like, that, like... In terms of how it's farmed, it's definitely... It's very bad for the environment. Yeah. It's, it's a better thing. If you're going to cut one thing out of your diet, but you don't want to give up meat entirely, cutting down on your beef is a very good way of uh, 
yeah, a very good way of dealing with that sort of business, yes. Uh, but also it's... I mean, I don't know. I'd rather have one meal with some really good meat yes. than like two meals with slightly less expensive meat that's not as nice, you Yeah, story checks out. True, uh, true, true, true. So yeah! Anyways. I didn't mean to fight Nash. She attacked me. Okay. Oh, oh it's, it's not Nash. It's just a random troll. That's okay. This is fine. Have you got any more to catch up on or are we all where we should be, Claire? Uh, no, no, no. We, um... We are, we are good. If my burger technique is not like, you know, it's just, it's just really good meat. Oh, although we do have um, inferior burger buns. I'm oh sure. yeah, I saw we got the basic burger buns, but that's fine. Yeah. That's not gonna I kill mean, us on one time. I mean, they're they're plenty delicious. Yes, uh, they are fine. But, you know. Uh, that ice effect on the daggers is really nice, just for slowing down the swing speed on attacks. It's very useful. Good job, John. It's not my fault. I wasn't expecting a troll to just sort of come out of nowhere. Ow. Why not? Uh, because they don't normally. They're not normally known for their subtlety and ambushing abilities. It's not my fault this one just suddenly out of nowhere decided it was going to be Captain Stealthy. Mm -hmm. But then it was. And should be, yep, just put a few more arrows in him. Okay, there we go. That wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault at all. Sushi. Claire's burgers brings all the Johns to the yard. It's true. Amazing. It's true, you know. Maybe a birthday special that Claire actually makes something worthwhile. I don't see where the fun would be in that. Mm -hmm. So yes, there we go. We're going into Ganache's lair, but it sounds like the World Tree doesn't want me to just murder the shit out of shit. The World Tree wants me to like, you know, do something that's not murder. So uh, we're gonna have to do some not murder next time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna I'm gonna prove that we're not doing any more mm -hmm. by virtue of going over here. There we go. I'm sure restaurants have good burger meat too. Yeah, but restaurants will make sure that they have like, you know, restaurants have to make money. Exactly. So if you go to a restaurant that has like the best meat, it's gonna be really expensive. Yeah. Also, don't go to restaurants right now. Order from restaurants. Damn straight. So we're not going in the cave, all right? We're, we're stopping here. Oh, I so, thought you were going to say we're not going to a restaurant, but we're not doing. We're also not going to. Scene. We're not going to a restaurant or a cave or a restaurant in a cave. None well, of these things. Be... None of these things. Probably a bit too cold. I was going to say that would be nifty, but probably yeah. a bit cool, and probably you wouldn't like it. I'm really enjoying this game, you know. I'm running a I lovely. Know. Like, and the thing is, like, I don't think it would make good videos. Do think it would maybe get a bit like you know? A lot of it's kind of like it's going through the motion in some ways. But like, as a chill live stream where you just go, I think you know, I'm going to do this, and now I'm here, I'm going to do that. It's a really, it's just a really chill, nice time. I think it's a lovely chill life. And I think like the fact you haven't fallen massively behind is a good sign. Because it means, like, you know, it's, I think it's a nice chill experience. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's a nice... Glad we got this one tonight. This is one that suits uh, me not we... feeling 100% day. It's one where we can... Um, it's one where we can talk to chat a little bit more. Yeah, so that's like, true. Hey, why don't we finish with a bunch of adorable cat and dog pictures? Holy because heck. I so many of them. Mm -hmm. I am sending them in chat. Mm -hmm. uh, and... Are you opening them up? Oh, great. I can see them that's right there, yes. Yeah. So that's Annie and Leo. Who mm -hmm. we see oh, big come. yawn. I'm I saw big a big yawn. yawn and a big sleepy happy girl. Then we've got Mina and Milton. Excellent. Who are Jinx's kittens. And then Looking we've got very alert. something very special. It's <gasps> Mina and Milton watching Crusader King Street. <gasps> I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for oh, it to appear. no. It was accidentally a puppy. That's not too... What? No. Okay, this is Brownie the puppy having... Uh, this is Brownie the puppy having a... Um, <sighs> having a puppuccino after <gasps> she got spayed. Oh, he's, I was about to say the puppy slightly haunted, slightly haunted look at that dog. So I was like, yeah. oh, that would explain a lot. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mina and Milton actually watching CK3. And... Oh my goodness. They're really excited by the poke trees. That's yes. so cool. That's uh, amazing. John, there's some puppies. Mm -hmm. There's some puppies. That They're very small. I am told they these are puppies, very small. I am told these puppies have eaten their dinner and then went and uh, sneakily ate their dad's dinner <laughs> whilst the humans were out. 
Yeah. And uh, therefore... Puppies will inhale are... anything, yes. Yes. Uh... Oh, I think, yeah. Uh, let's see. And then finally, thank you very much, Axel Fack, for mm-hmm. uh, sending in a picture of um, ham dog and dog face. Uh, and yes, um... Uh, oh my goodness, yeah. that's cute faces. Cute, that's an excellent cute, cute faces. faces. And yes, uh, you know Annie and Leah, who we see uh, very Absolutely, regularly. Yes. Um, Annie is a tortoise shell, and she's a girl, and Leah's a tabby, and he's a boy. Oh. So there you go. I think he's the sleepy one, and Annie was yawning. Excellent. So there you go. All right, but we've got some excellent animal pictures to wrap thing up there, ladies and gentlemen. That's just uh, the chill stream ending for Damn you strength. with uh, pictures. Now, uh, yeah. and, and uh, meanwhile, on the other side, from not chill, coming up tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, a very oh special God. video indeed. Claire can moderate the comments on this one. Um, yeah, you're going to love that if I do. Democracy 3 has a sequel, Democracy 4. And I've been playing it, and I figured out how to fix America. So join us tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, for Democracy 4, How to Fix the USA, where I fix America for you. You're all very much welcome. It's, um... Yeah, enjoy seeing policies that sound like really, really normal in Europe and really, really communist in the US. Yeah, it's going to be... I'm looking looking forward to this video, the comment section to this. Oh, my God. Oh, ho, ho. So that's that's coming tomorrow. Yeah, so I don't think... um, And I... We've had people asking that like a lot in the uh, in the streams recently. Yes. We're probably not gonna do a Worms Armageddon special. It's for just too depressing. Election. It's too, too depressing, fucking depressing. And it's like you know, I mean, two hundred thousand people have died of COVID in the US. Yeah. So I it's think this not this as this election this election's just a bit too depressing for a Worms Armageddon special. I think. But if you like, I think I think. I think this uh, Democracy Fall has that feel. If that's the feeling, yeah, that you want it's to kind watch of this Democracy almost kind of fills that gap. Yeah, that yeah, kind of fills that, that gap. Yes. It. So we're gonna go eat now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very, very much for joining us this evening, uh, Patreoncast folks. Uh, Patreoncast will probably be beginning of next week, not this weekend, because. We're frantically working on the video essay, uh, so that is coming up very, very soon. Indeed. Thank you so, so much to all of the Super Jet donators. They, uh, Kingdoms of Amalur just seems to bring out people's generosity because there's been some huge mm-hmm. donations in both of them. Uh, so uh, I've been loving this. We'll probably see this again. I might give it a week off next week so other stuff has a chance too. So this will probably show up on the docket in two weeks' time. And yes, obviously the big thing coming up this Sunday, uh, Fallout 4 is better than you think. Part two. So Yay! big stuff coming up later this week. Some really exciting things. Hopefully you join us all for that. Thank you all so very much for joining us this evening. I feel a bit better. So you know oh, the healing yeah. power of streams. Damn it! The and healing soon power the of healing streams. power. And of soon burgers the healing power is a burgers, a burgers and fries. Hooray! So thank you all so very very much for joining us. Lots of cool stuff coming this week. Uh, next live stream will be next Wednesday. We're not doing one this weekend because it's going to be frantic with the video essay. So it'll be next Wednesday is the next stream. So hopefully we see you all there. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. So we've been many a true dad and this has been Kingdoms of Amala. Re, re, re reckoning. I need to remember this number so we get it right next time. Thank you very much and have fun. Goodbye. <laughs>